Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the 8-Bit Terror channel and welcome to Days Gone. We're playing Days Gone. I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, what do I feel like playing? I think I know. I think I know the answer. It came to me like that. I was like, I know what I want to play. Um, we were, of course, last week playing Li Rise, Lies, Rise of the Ronin. And uh, it's a great game. Don't believe the reviews. Don't believe the hate. But I don't think anyone wanted to watch it, watch me play it. So I switched to, we did a little bit of Red Dead on Friday just for fun. And, uh, you know, I did a playthrough of that just recently. So I didn't want to play it again on the stream. Even though I wanted to play it again, I was like desperate to be Arthur again, play through his story. But yeah, woke up this morning. I was like, you know, it's time. It's time. It's been a few months. It's time we do another playthrough. Have days gone. Let's get that big deke energy up in here. Oh, who do we have with us? Who's first in the chat? Who gets spooked? Boop. Travis Stamper. Travis Stamper first in the chat. Uh, who else? Who else do we have here? <clears throat> the Who fan. Oh, what happened to the Ronin? I, I may revisit it, you know, because I, I don't think it's a very long game, but I was taking my time and I there's like three different maps. So we may go back to it when we get further towards the end or the middle um i'll keep playing it just for fun um and once again youtube doesn't show me the, the videos live until over a minute after you start streaming well shit uh goma black magic is with us you know actually who found we are streaming on twitch right now as well so hello twitch um if you want you could watch over on twitch over on twitch um i also have just to warn you i have a new setup so like I'm like looking at multiple screens and trying to figure out where windows are and things like that. So forgive me if it's a little, a little rough around the edges today. Ah, uh, go with black magic. The trap was baited with days gone and it caught me. Welcome in. Good morning. Um, who else do we have? If you're here watching, say hi, by the way, and I'll say hi back. Uh, major silly rabbit. Hope everyone is doing well. Hello. I love your username, major silly rabbit. Scott is with us. Hey, Scott. All right, did I miss anyone? I have a new chat window, which is in dark mode, and my, I can't do dark mode. My, it hurts my eyes, and I get migraines. It's very hard for me to, like, scan the text um, casually. I'm not used to it, and I cannot change it. The software is awesome, but it does not come with light mode, so it gives me headaches. Um, so, yeah, forgive me if I miss your chat. Please do feel free to repeat yourself say hi again if i've missed you um all right let me just rearrange my windows there we go nylon girl nylon girl is with us do you guys hear the music i don't hear it i see i see it playing uh, Gomi, you watched the credits roll last night on number 49. Holy shit. I feel like I've known you since you were on your, like, 20th playthrough or something. Which at the time was like, what? 20? That's crazy. That's crazy numbers. Uh, I was going to paint my nails this morning. Didn't have time. I was going to do it purple. Match my eyes and my controller. Well, oh shit, that looks blue. This controller is, is actually purple. I think I have the color slightly high. My, my blush is looking like really extra as well. Um, let's see if we can change that. One second. I hope this isn't going to mess up my camera. You still see me? Let's take it down a notch. Better. It still looks blue. I don't know why. But anyway. Oh, Library of Games. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Okay, let me just see if we can fix the audio. Learning new software. It's like exactly the same as the old software I used to use, but it glitches in different ways. Now I hear it. It's like I have to restart it coming through the monitor. Hmm. Weird. All right. Oh, we have it now. How is everyone? 
Audio sounds good, Travis. Yeah, I couldn't hear it. Yes, <laughs> Monica's Rex. Welcome in. Good morning. Um, Travis Shields looks blue too, no matter how I just cameras. Yeah, I think it's because I have green screen. So, which is how I have this beautiful floating microphone. You can see the, the green screen fabric around it. Um, and there's the bit that doesn't have green screen on it. And I think it just, it takes anything that's like, well, no, that would make it less purple. I don't know. I don't know. It messes with the colors sometimes. I'll, I'll put like a shirt on and I'm like, fuck, it's got too much, too much green hue to it. And I'm like invisible. <laughs> oh, fun times. Um, Nylon Girl says, oh shit. Are we playing Days Gone? Yeah, we're fucking playing Days Gone. Look, Jay Stabby in the house. Hey, Jay Stabby. Good morning. How are you? How are you doing? Serious question. And also, how the fuck are you? And Varafi is here. Hello, Varafi. How the fuck are you too? How is everyone doing? Days Gone is the cat's meow. My big deek brings all the boys to the yard. I don't know the rest of the song. Just know that bit. I don't know. Anyway, I'm excited. <laughs> Travis says, I'm fucking fine. Yeah, you are. Doing fucking good, says Nylon Girl. Everyone's got to swear now. That's the rule. You got to swear. Okay. The music. Oh, it bring it actually legit. We haven't even started playing yet. I'm already crying. Oh, like legit makes me tear up. Oh shit! You guys ruining my makeup already. We haven't even started yet. No crying. <laughs> There's no crying in baseball. Oh, gonna be a good fucking time. <laughs> oh, Travis, you're sympathetic, right? I know, me too. Me too. I don't know why I'm crying. I'm just like, oh, I love this game. It's emotional. Oh. <sighs> All right. Um, God damn, what am I? Hang on. All right. I have too many windows open. So YouTube says excellent connection. Excellent. Um, mm -mm. And, sorry, I'm like, what is that? Hang on. <laughs> Nothing's in the right place. Okay, I think we're good. The mic is hovering. Yes, yes, it's a hover mic. It doesn't work on water. Unless I have power. All right, so... Let's get into it. Let's play some fucking video games. Let's do that. Let's do it. I'll dry my eyes. Damn it, you guys. I have to switch my monitor input, and this may fuck everything up. Let's see. Is it okay? Do we still have sound? Do we still? Why is it taking so long? I have sound. I have visuals. Do you guys have sound and visuals? Travis says, I love this game! Me too. Me too. All right. One last check of all my stuffs. Okay. And I can see the chat. And I think you guys can see me. Let's do it. I need coffee. Hang on. Coffee. First things first. Dean! Hello, Dean! Welcome in. Yes, I see that. Yes. Found and visuals, we good to go. All right, so new game or new game plus? I think new game. What's What difficulty? Should we do survival? Should we do survival? I've never played hard or survival. I may have played hard one time, but I played normal. And then I think I went straight to like Survival 2, or maybe I did Hard 2 and then Survival 2, or maybe I did Hard and then Survival 2 or something. I don't remember. New game, new game. Hard 2? Yeah. 
that theme. I know, Dean. It just brought tears to my eyes. Oh. Hard to. I think we go hard to. This is the classic. It's difficult. But it's you still have the um the heads up display. Eight materials have one coffee. I haven't even had one coffee yet. We'll fix that. Oh, okay. I'm not going to talk over cutscenes. I mean, I'm going to endeavor to not talk over cutscenes. Let's put it that way. R2 is the best. Yep. Minimap. Yep. Yep. Fucking let's do it. Let's go. Come on, game. It's loading. I'm in the way of the little loading icon. <gasps> Let's get my hat on. This is my cosplay. My cosplay box. All my days gone stuff. Yeah, she's burning out. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning sick. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little. This little kid, this, this goddamn little kid. The goddamn life. Hey, help me. Come on. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom, you want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof, flag down one of those choppers. All right. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. Oh, yeah, it's on. Oh, okay, listen up, Brian. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. <laughs> oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteers for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. <laughs> Shit. I, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. We got room for two of you. We're wait, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. You're gonna be all right, baby. Okay, to Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that guy. We gotta get on that show. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never going to make it without me. I want this back. You coming? you do fuck yeah fuck yeah nylon girl did i see that you were gonna go fix the toilet fix the leaky toilet and clean the house nice You look cute as fucking a maid's dress. Are you really doing it in a maid's dress? You are not, are you? Jay Savvy, I love that scene. I know. Oh no. Me too. Rise of the Ronin is on pause for now, Travis. Um, I was enjoying it, but I just don't know if anyone else was. And I figured it's April. It's the fifth anniversary month of Days Gone. We're fucking playing Days Gone. Oh, 
an island girl who never picks a toilet for should be interesting. Good luck. We lost him. He can't be far. Wait, hold on. Cut your engine. <coughs> Shit, she's alive. Alvarez. Alvarez, hey. Alvarez. What happened here? I mean, who did this? Was it... Was it Rippers? Cleon did this. See, the thing I don't get is they were chasing Leon, but he comes from behind them, did they? I know they said they lost him. Okay. Oh my god, what are buttons? What are the buttons? Do I tap X to make the horse go faster? Or do I press circle to gallop? Well, X to boost. God, I remember my first playthrough, and I know I'm not alone with this. Uh, where you just tap X to boost. And just like fuck it up. Uh, how is the sound balance, by the way? So what is break? I don't remember. <laughs> it's only been a few months since I played this game, and already I'm just like, what are the buttons? I'm sure it'll come back. I remember my first time playing this, struggling with this part, and again, I'm not alone on that. Like, a lot of people just find this weirdly difficult. And I don't, I don't know why. Whoa, whoa, maybe it's because I'm doing that. Like that? Yeah! Son of a bitch! You hit him. Yeah. Oh, hold up, hold up! Jesus, just watching this is giving me good feels. Hell yeah. Um, oh, good question, right? Do you have a theme or challenge in mind for this playthrough? Y yeah, no, but yes, we should have one. Suggestions are welcome. Cover me right behind you. <laughs> Sound balance is good. All right, awesome. Thank you, Nylon Girl. Appreciate it. You went that way. Come on. So I got my hat on. Got my deacon hat. I would wear the ring, but it's not too big. I, I would say that I need to get um, a smaller size, but honestly, I can't wear rings like this because it's, it's, you know, not silver. It's cheap metal, so it's um, it just gives me, like, a rash, like I have a zinc allergy. Oh, Nylon Girl says, I got you, boo. Thank you. And basics of pain. Here we go. Welcome in and fuck yeah. Here we go indeed. Where the hell's he going? There is All right, a I a bunch of don't there. remember any buttons. Maybe I I'll remember that. About him having to deal with Copeland. No, I remember Leon. that. Fancy shit to Copeland for a long time. I finally caught up with him. <laughs> Amazing. It's like, hey, hey, wait, played this one. We finished it in December. We did the modded playthrough. Shit. All right, let me see. Wait, 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 here. Down this Hold on, there. Okay, yep. Oh, God. Yep, yep, yep. I know this. Tracks are fret. Is it the, there's tutorials? I've literally never looked those up. Are they in here? Is there like a sort of tutorial of how to do stuff? How would it, how would one even find that? I don't even remember. <laughs> So Just says I need to watch the Hawkeyes play tonight, but I bet I could sneak in some anniversary days gone. Hell yeah. It frustrates me that we can't sprint. Also, how far away from Boozer can we go?
No, Sparrowhawk. Hello, Sparrowhawk. Uh, you can't engage the horde here. Oh, oh no. Who ah! moves his face when he shoots? Like... You okay, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a graze. Son of a bitch can't aim worth a damn. Son of a bitch. I'm fine, Boozer. He must be heading down there toward the falls. He's losing a lot of blood. He's not getting far. Come on. I didn't realize in my first playthrough that they were down there, like you hear them, but it doesn't necessarily move the camera that way. I just want to go exploring. Search him. Bleeding out. Well, that's a hell of a way to go. It's slow. A lot of pain, but I suppose you know all about that. She was right still now. breathing when we found her, you piece of shit. I wasn't gonna waste a bullet not on her. Oh, hold on for a second, hold on for a second now. Where's the stash, Leon? If you tell us, well, unlike you, I can promise you we'll make it quick. Don't look like you'd be suffering for too long. Leon, you got a little problem here. See, they can smell your blood from all the way down there. What are you supposed to do? Huh? Torn apart? Eat alive? Guess he's gonna find out. Fuck you. Goodbye, Leon. No, wait. All right, all right, no, no, I got it right here, take it. Where? In the cemetery, it's in the old cemetery. Thank you. No, you said! Do it. Don't leave me out here, man. Do it. Do it! You goddamn liar! Do it. <laughs> Tuck's gonna need something for the bounty. Chase Davies says, honestly, I think it would have left him to the horde. Yeah, kick him off the cliff, break his legs. The only problem is that the horde can then climb up and get you. But yeah. Also, do you want to waste a bullet and also shoot the gun right next to a horde? Yeah, why waste a bullet on him? But I suppose he can is kind of a man of his word he has his code in in a way and um what if leon survived that's what i was think hey hold up i want to search this camp see if i can't find something to fix up this scratch no i just gotta put them together and yes there, yeah, that ought to do it. Guess I won't be losing the arm anytime soon. Won't be losing the arm anytime soon. Hmm. Oh, we were going hunting tonight. Take some bounty in a tucker. Well, not if it's pissing down rain. Nah, man, we need the camp credits. Gotta stock up on supplies. Come on, move out the way, Boozer. Okay. I don't want to be out all night, though. Jesus, I gotta get in shape. Yeah, BOP. Leon says, I wasn't gonna waste a bullet not on her, giving the impression that ammo will be rare in the game. I wish it was. I do wish it was. That's the part that makes the cold side so interesting because he's honorable most of the time. Mm hmm. Yeah, shout out my damn fuel pump. Can we get anything out of Leon's bike? Nah, it's done. Look, 
Let's just the whole thing is done. Bike. I mean, surely they could take the, the fuel pump off. And come back and get your bike. I don't know. Fuel pump's kind of universal on bikes. No, I think I got a better idea. We just get it while we're out here. What? Well, yeah. Crazy Willie's isn't far from here. Let's just head over there. What are you thinking? We were going out hunting tonight anyway. Crazy Willie's as good a place as any. Yeah. Okay. They couldn't have towed it. I don't think so. I don't think you could tow a bike. Hey, what did Leon give you? Not with another bike. Of some kind. Oh, you mean Leon's? Once we get my bike back, let's head up to the cemetery, look around. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. So tomorrow, get the drugs, take them to Tucker, collect all Leon's bounty. Then I say Beak 68, north. hello, hello, welcome in. Is this my first playthrough? Don't matter. No, this is actually playthrough number 12. This is number 12 and not including all those like little, you know, half playthroughs and redos of missions and horde killing and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, this is full playthrough number 12. So actually guys, the last two playthroughs we did. Hold on, something's blocking the road. We did survival two. Um, like and social style playthrough a bunch of rippers where we didn't purchase anything from camps on, we didn't um, buy guns we didn't buy ammo or supplies we didn't turn in bounties none of that on survival 2 that was a lot of fun um, and then we did a modded playthrough where I made everything harder for myself except I added in wider explosion radius for the grenades just to just to help a little bit, because we made the hordes bigger, we made um, the enemies more dangerous, we just increased the spawns. We fought 45 bears together, like, in one go. One spawn of, like, 45 or, or 50 bears. Um, so I had I had ex increased explosive radius, and I also had um, the Growler unlocked a level 3 at Wizard Island. That was it, so I got it real end game. Ready? Yep. This playthrough, we're playing on hard two, which is, you know, arguably the best difficulty level. This is a boot knife only playthrough. Ooh. You can hear people talking while well, they're still pushing the car. Um. Oh, I'm supposed to be in the button. Okay, hold up. Boot knife only play through. Uh, skip a skill tree. Oh. About like new game plus there was a rare resource mode. Wait, what do you mean? There is a rare resource mode? Oh, that's like a mod that you could get. That would be cool. Uh, press R2 to perform a melee attack. Oh, damn it. And knife flick. And... Oh. oh shit, I was pressing circle to roll. Oh shit, is it R1 to roll? Oh no, we're gonna fuck this up. I am so gonna fuck this up. I'm also like trying to like lock onto them. I love how you have like no stamina concerns in this. It's a little fight. Alright, Bruce, man. Come on. We're almost there. I love that the Humvee is now down in the water. <laughs> Body in it. Uh, Beak's asking what happened to Ronin. Ronin is just on pause for a while. We will revisit. Huh. Coming up on the old Nero checkpoint. We're almost there.
shit. How you want to do this? Yeah, nylon girl. Love how the Humvee stays in the water through the whole game. I remember the first time I noticed that. I was like, what is that doing in the water? And Rex said to me, like, you moved it there. I was like, oh shit, is that the one from the beginning? Maybe we do like different weapons. I enjoyed playing with the IDF pup last playthrough. Looks like that, that was actually really fucking cool. Yeah, so maybe. Yeah. I'd rather be buried back with the goddamn pioneers. Maybe yeah. we'll do a um, Look at them all. completely different yeah, weapon. Is a lot of them. Where they playthrough. Hey, Mr. Fake, There's nothing in here. Sit here and wait till the goddamn horde comes through and just kills us all. Bad way to go out, trapped in a shithole like this. Bottom. You sprint again. Idris Mehmed. Oh shit, Idris! Eep. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Idris. Oh my gosh, I appreciate that so much. Okay, I remember the first time I saw that like pop up saying, You can search vehicles for scrap. I was like, Okay, we will search every vehicle for scrap. Oh my god, I cannot, I cannot fucking remember the. I'm pressing all the buttons, trying to like get the flashlight on, trying to sprint. Yeah, interest coming in hot. It's binoculars. That's flashlight. There we go. Yeah, I think Hoofbat and I was pressing L3 and it just doesn't let you sprint in this bit. Come on, let's go. Wait, hey, hold up. How many miles house you got left? Can't get comfy. Hang on. Midgetin. Yeah. Leaving my ass. Son of a bitch. You're hoping someone's home. I love how perceptive Boozer is with, uh, with Deacon. Oh, here we go. Sounds like you got wish. I do like it, how it eases you in. A lot of games was like, here's 20 freaks. Oh, are you dead? I think it's dead. You're gonna break my shotgun. Yeah. Okay. You're going up there again. What are you talking about? Goddamn refugee camp. You only act like this when you're thinking about going up there. Now we can run. Now it lets us. It's not your fault that she's dead. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it, booze man. Look, just drop it. <laughs> Twice he said drop it. Just drop it, look. Just drop it. Everybody. Everybody drop Whatever you have in your hands, just drop it. Yeah, he's like, bro, chill. But you can't just say that. Yeah, you can't you can't tell someone like Deacon to chill. That is like saying, calm down. Have you tried not having a death wish? Like, I know you're upset about Sarah and everything, but have you tried like just moving on? Like just get over her? Maybe try not be such a mopey motherfucker. You're not getting your bike through there. 
I love that. Ammo can often be found in police vehicles. It's like, oh, I got it. Just keep oh, well, yeah, well, let's do way. it. <laughs> Interesting. Just drop your phone. Drop it. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll do different weapons. It will do. Oh, don't get the auto shotgun. But um, maybe we'll do. We can leave the hordes in again because I liked doing that. We can do a leave all the hordes in kind of thing. And love all this blood on the floor. And we'll we'll play about. We'll do different weapons. I hear saying, "Calm down, the Deacon." Is like saying, "Someone's got a case of the Mondays." Like, change your tampon, Deacon. 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 <laughs> Deacon. Do it. Hit it. Kill it. Stomp it. Kick it. Smash it. Stab it. Stomp. There we go. Okay. This room is so grim. Man. I didn't plan on this, god damn it. No, nope. using that gun is not good, early game. Oh, fuck off. For a second I was like, maybe I'll try something. No. Satisfying. Get in there. creepy the way he's still moving as well oh every time i'm just like mm -mm, mm -mm. i don't think i'd be able to if i was if i was in deacon's shoes i'd be like nope okay you can have that room now and girl kind of like how you can't stop pushing the truck early yeah once it's started on once you complete the holding square to engage you then it has to finish you can stop while you're still holding square you can um disengage like right now if i let go he stops doing it but once you finish a circle then it's he has to finish the animation Styrofoam cup. I'll be seeing you later. Another nest. Yeah, I smell it. Oh. How many more press triangles pay respects? You just used the last one. You got any shit mm -hmm. to make more? Yeah, yeah.
Ooh, Jay Savvy asking the real questions. So question for everyone, anyone and everyone. If the MG45 and the MG55 weren't available, what is your favorite weapon to take out hordes with? Napalm Molotov. 100%. That's my answer. Napalm Molotov. This will just take a sec. That'll do it. Come on, boost man. Yeah. Oh shit, really? Hey, come on, get on. Yeah, okay, give me a sec. Get on? No, I'm I'm looting. I'm trying to loot. There's, there's nothing to pick up. I think we have everything. Oh my god, the auto shotgun. Oh my god. Not super good for hordes, though. Uh, Chicago chopper, Chicago chopper, Chicago chopper, the chopper. I see a lot of you. <laughs> Get your ass to the chopper. You can't use the Chicago chopper. I hate it. It feels too light. Too da -da 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 -da. I, don't, I don't like the sound of it. The MG45 and the MG55. Oh, where my heart is at. Um, I a freak show. Yeah, but I mean, the yeah, chopper, that seems to be everyone's, everyone's favorite. <laughs> I mean, shit, maybe we'll play with the, with the chopper or the RPD or whatever, things like that. <laughs> oh my God. Shit, we're gonna need more ammo. What are you thinking? And I already know it's a bad idea. You just ride on through. You pull as many of them off as you can. And I just BOP, uh, BOP, sorry, we are playing hard to fresh stop. Find the part that I need. You ride back, we ride the hell out. After I kill it. You make it sound so easy. You got a death wish. Like I said, not tonight. Not today. This is literally one of the best scenes in the game. Ah, you know, this is my favorite mission. I, and not to say that it peaks early, but I just love this mission. Sparrowhawk, uh, the Growler in the modded PC version. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. I used that um, my last playthrough. We did mods and I added that in as a reward only. I could purchase it. For, what was it, 9,999 credits or something like that from Wizard Island once I got to level 3 at Wizard Island, so it was extremely late game. Goddamn newts. Um... Go on. Get out of here, you little shits. And, uh, yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. But fuck me, we needed it, because I also made the hordes, like, two or three times the size and increased the spawns. If you watch on my channel, go to the videos. Uh, section and there is a, a clip from one of the live streams where we had and it was back to back with one where I'd just taken on the Rimview Ranch Horde which was about 400 450 strong something like that and I just got the Growler but we just I think it comes with infinite ammo so I didn't have to worry about ammo thank god can you imagine can you imagine how much the ammo would cost in the game if you had to buy it the Growler um and uh yeah we'd I'd just taken on the horn and then we had a bear spawn and that yeah Travis 45 bears I think it was actually 50 or more but we ca I lost count it was like around 45 at least um I have a melee weapon I just have the boot knife Newts are skittish and usually stick to out-of-reach places like rooftops. They will attack if they sense you are low on health or if you invade their turf. Stay up there and we'll get along just fine.
Come on. <laughs> the rim job wrench. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> New name, that's what they're called from now on. The rim job. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. I love it. I know what I want to do this playthrough. I want to not burn any nests. Let's leave all the nests in. I've literally never done it like that. Because why would you? I, I've always killed all of the nests, like right from the get-go. As soon as I see a nest, I take it out. Let's not do any nests. I'm going to forget. You guys need to remind me. No nests. Let's leave them in. Because I want to know, because the game tells you, like, oh, if you um, don't take out the nests, you'll get more freakers and stuff. And I'm like... I just never done it. No nests, no hordes. All right, yeah. Except for obviously what the game makes you do. No nests, no hordes, and we'll try to be more experimental with the with the weapons. That's not a headshot. That was a headshot, but. Is they're not good enough? Come on. Come on! Oh god, there's a lot of them! Oh! <laughs> Fucking hell, there's a lot of them. Right between the eyes. Come on, Angie friend. Come on. I'm getting this loot. Oh god. <laughs> this melee weapon is much shit. <laughs> well, there's more of them. <gasps> I hate the newts of the uh, early weapons because they're so hard to like to get. And it's like, what's well, new? I'm not going to waste a shotgun round on it. We'll, we'll waste the crappy handgun ammo on it. Do shoulder swap. Do shoulder swap. No. Nope. X. Oh my god. Took me so long to figure out. <laughs> Triangle is switched to the other other weapon. If you hold it, it will switch to the special. Um, R3, that's what I press. I was like, R3, triangle, no, circle, no, that's crouch. Um, I was like, what else could it be? But it's X. Yeah. Aww. Okay. Stool leg. Oh god, this feels so weird leaving the nest. I'm gonna have so many Molotovs. I'm not going to know what to do with myself. Oh, the one I, the, the freaker I killed, fell onto the body it was eating. Look, it's got his arm under the leg. Oh, it's like they they fell asleep and break. Uh, they died embracing each other. That face is nasty. R3 is zoom wins in on a scoped weapon. Triangle in the Uncharted games. Yeah, I just like... I've played this game 11 times my 12th playthrough. You'd think I would know, but when you play so many other games in between, do you, you, like, forget you lose that muscle memory. Um, Rose Chestnut! Holy shit, Rose Chestnut! Sorry, I missed you coming in. Hello, hello! Yeah, no fast travel. I don't normally fast travel anyway. Especially in Days Gone. I rarely, rarely fast travel, so it'll be alright. Don't you see me, don't you see me, don't you see me? Gotcha. Melissa S, hello, hello. Welcome in.
Need it. We photo mode. I was like pressing the joysticks. Go through the window. Go through the window. Come on. You can do it. You can. Oh, we can't. Ah, oh, but we can do that. I'm going to turn that on. It sounded like there was someone up on the roof. Yunk. Go check it out. Come on, come on. It looks so awesome. Check it out. I got two of them. Yep, burn in hell. Oh, yeah, look, we got all of them on fire. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, oh, wait, what the fuck did I just do? You can turn on some sort of center dot thing. Oh, wait. Oh, is that like a... What the... F what is that? Is that like a focus thing? You can make it focus on something? I don't even know what that is. Anyway, um... Shit, I was trying to tether onto the other enemies. Yeah, we got all but one of them. He's just standing there on fire. <laughs> Boroslav, hello. This is going to be playthrough 300. I wish, I wish. It, this is playthrough number 12. I think, if I've not lost count. And we're doing no hordes, no nests on this playthrough. Or no hordes and no nests yet. I love kicking the doors open. Schmo is here as well. Hello, Joe Schmo. I've only got 15 minutes, but ah, Deacon St. John. Hello, Joe. Jay Savvy, I couldn't do no hordes. I missed my two favorite early game weapons. Wait, which you, which ones? What do you mean? The SMP9 and the auto shotgun? Um, mm -mm. 
Is Davy asking Travis, do you just use that shitty nine mil as your sidearm? Wait, what did Travis? I missed Travis's comment. Oh, it's not as bad as you think. SMP9 auto shotgun. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Nope. Nothing. Nope. Oh, he knows I'm here. I'm just gonna sneak up on him. I don't have a machete. I don't have a machete. I'm in this fight like I've got a fucking machete and I don't have a machete. I don't know how to disengage. <laughs> just beat him to death. <laughs> I was like, maybe I can all rush him. Nope. Maybe we can get him with a machete. Oh. All about this blood splatter on this picture to the, to the left. The safe. No, it's not blood splatter. That's just chairs. I thought it was like a drip of blood. Just a pretty picture. Oh, that one's nice. We should do some, we should do like a series of photo mode captures of like beautiful or, or even just like kind of lame artwork in video games. That's just so jarring with the, with the settings. It's like, oh, a nice lovely picture of the ocean calm and relaxing enjoy your stay at the frontier motel and here we are busting into the safe for an attractor what's the scissors on the desk oh can we take those and make a shiv i'm playing the last of us aren't i in my head Still gotta find a way in the Willie's garage. Got me a fuel pump inside. Hurry your ass up. I rode past one of those, uh, what the hell do you call them? The, the shit that Rippers put up. Yeah. Sigils. Yeah. That means they're up here somewhere. Kind of run are we doing this time we are doing um we're gonna do no hordes no no infestation zones no nests we'll leave all the nests in just to see what happens and we're also doing a can i remember my buttons playthrough i love the stealth kills on the new that's what i thought yeah that's what i thought bitch so satisfying I saw some crows flying around out over the house the other day and was like, oh shit, in the station zone. Oh shit, it fell down. Did you see that? Shit. Ordered up. I gotta find another way in. Maybe there's a way in through the roof. Right there. Oh god, I'm just finding so many fuel cans. Uh, there's a reason why I'm doing this, by the way. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off, but there is a reason why. Yeah. 
Yeah, Joe says, been far too long since I've been able to be here for morning streams. Hopefully I'll be able to sneak in now and again. How's the fam, Joe? How's the how's the little one? How's the not so little one? How's the missus? How's everyone? Can you imagine if I tried to do a no looting playthrough? I would go insane. I would not know what to do with myself. I don't think no. Shit! Wait, did we die? <laughs> I was like, fuck! Did I just kill Deacon? God damn it! I didn't throw him in the right spot. Oh, hello! I have done this one time where if you throw the fuel can up the right way, you can just shoot it and it will take out all the newts as they run at you. But I, I just don't remember it, like where I threw it, where I was successful. but I love doing it. Gotta be a fuel pump in here somewhere. Yeah, come at me, bro. <laughs> Proceeds to blow self up. I mean, stops the enemy from getting you. If you kill yourself first. to five incognito hello hello no cheese who fan but you just fortified i did not hit her i did not i did not i did not oh hi mark if you know you know the gang is all here says who fan yeah right we have there. so many people here i found the part i'm heading out to the highway i knew you guys wanted to watch days gone Rippers! Oh no! Rippers? Those are... Those man? God damn it. Yeah, can't argue with that logic. They can't get me if I'm dead. God, there's so many things to pick up here that we can't pick up until later. Sir? Where are you, man? You'll be fine, Boozer. It's alright. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm just, you know, finishing up. I'm looting. I swear I heard a human voice. Oh, 
fuck it. We don't need the we don't need the freaks right now. I wonder. Can we bring him with us? This is this is probably going to go horribly wrong. Come on, freaks. Oh, it's Boozer I can hear. Going Deacon! Deacon! Oh, it's the, no, it's the Rippers. That's it. I knew I could hear someone. Captain Kavid! Hello, hello! What happens if we can get these rip, these freaks to go find the Rippers? If, I don't think they will survive the cutscene. Oh, 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 it was right on me! It'd be really cool if we can... These Make them of go the take on the Rippers. New game, the fresh start. Fresh start, hard two. The bitches fight for man. You must be brought This channel's way. audience is like me and my favorite VHS tape when I was a kid. They can watch Days Gone twice a day, seven days a week. I know, right? <laughs> what was your What was your favorite VHS tape? I mean, this is like you hail from a time myself as well um, when. You had a few I mean, in the UK, when I was here, we had like three or four channels on TV. I remember when Channel 4 launched. We had three channels when I was growing up. That was it. And not a lot of like kids programming. And then a VHS player. And VHS is really big. You could only have a few on your shelf and they're not cheap, you know. Freaks, freaks. Hey, freaks. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, come here. Come here. Come with me. Come on, come on, come on. Hey! Over here! Sons of bitches, get off! This is gonna work. Damn it, the freaks are just after me. Oh, 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 oh! My god, I think it's working. Are they going to eat Boozer, though? Well, there's... there's... One of them down. I think. Did we just find something new and fun to do? Oh my gosh. Um... Melissa's got to go! Alright, thank you for popping in, Melissa! Uh, uh, uh... Boris, you are... Finally having an alcoholic drink, first one in three bloody weeks, getting to watch oh, a legend play Days Gone. Who are you watching? Should we all go and raid their channel? It's a good day. And what are you drinking? Um, mm, mm, who found you had a bunch of stuff, uh, a bunch of um, tapes, but stuff like Scavenge Hunt, The Love Bug, Cannonball Run. Okay, okay. <laughs> Boris says, drinks, plural. How do we get out of this? Are they actually shooting at the freak? No, 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 no. Find me. I'm like leaning like. Oh! I mean, come at me, bro. You want? I'll lead you to the fucking freaks. Get him! Oh, I love it! Do you have anyone else? Alright, so we it was only the two that we'd led up here already. You have to have them real close. And then they wander off. Why are you coming my way? Don't you come my way? You have served your purpose. Thank you for your service. Is anyone left alive? <laughs> Didn't have to fire a shot. We should do it. We should do a no shots fired run <laughs> for the whole game. Oh my god, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. We fed the rivers to the freaks. I didn't see them in in no way efficient. We're not trying to be efficient. But we know through various playthroughs, we know there's no point. Resources are not scarce. Ammo is plentiful. Okay. Get on the bike! Mm. 
Boris, this red wine, a nice bottle called 19 Crimes. I haven't heard of it. That sounds cool. Does it lead you to number 20? <laughs> if you drink enough of it. Um, Joe says I'm back to work, but I'm going to leave the stream on for another consistent view. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and Godspeed. Hello. Happy Easter. Happy Easter indeed. Jason, have you never seen that? Captain Caffeine says that was awesome. Yeah, I, that's one of the things I want to do with this playthrough is just find those little points where we, we act, we do things on autopilot because we've done it so many times. We know how to do it. We know how the game wants us to do it. How can we do it differently? And knowing that, you know, the enemies attack each other, it's like, can we find new opportunities for that? There's a bunk calling my name. And Boos has got a black eye. I never noticed that before. Not like there's much to steal. Are you kidding? It's only every mountain to steal. The safe house, the... Everything. It's one of the best places to be. I'm gonna go out and find some shit for your arm. You get my bike. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Don't forget, no nests, no hordes. Good. Yeah. I'll head over to that neuro checkpoint. They gotta oh. have sterile bandages oh, and painkillers. Don't, don't leave my bike Oh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna be uh, going out on foot while it's still light up. Hey. I've got some ammo if you need it. In the footlocker by the door. Thanks. Oh, hey. Stabby, you've been a member for almost oh, a year. Holy shit. 11 months. Well, fucking uh, thank you, Jay Stabby. I really appreciate it. I really do. Right. Um, for those of you watching on Thanks, brother. YouTube, if you want to become a channel member, how do we do it? Um, hopefully this will work. Um, you can join by hitting the join button under the video. In fact, that reminds me, we are actually going to be doing a membership giveaway today. Um, so if you want to become a channel member on YouTube, I have memberships uh, available on YouTube. You hit join. There's various different tiers. Starts at $2.99 a month for membership on YouTube. You get YouTube exclusive perks. If you're watching on Twitch, don't have that set up yet on Twitch. The, um, what is it? Subscribe. But for either, you can also join on buymeacoffee.com slash 8 I have a tier stein at a dollar a month, so 12 bucks a year. Not a big ask, but you get perks and rewards of membership. You can also do one-time contributions there. Uh, buymeacoffee.com slash 8 Or right here through YouTube, Super Chat, Super Thanks, Super Thanks, like Idris Mehmed did earlier, the awesome Idris Mehmed. And it is, it is very much appreciated. Um... I, this, I know I say it all the time. This channel does run on viewer contributions. I could not be here without the support of you lovely people. So it is very much appreciated. All contributions come back into the channel. Help this channel continue. Help this channel grow. So thank you. Everyone who's a member, everyone who's done a one-time contribution, everyone who's been a member in the past, thank you. I appreciate it. Even if you can only afford to be a member for like a month or something. It is appreciated. And Kat says, I need to get my coffee to catch up to Claire's energy level. Seems like she already drank. I'm actually, I've only drunk one. Um, I've just started on my second. This fucking day's gone. It's days gone. It's, oh, I've missed. I've missed Deacon. I've missed days gone. Missed all of this. Uh, okay. I should probably save it. Saving is a thing. How, wait, how, can we not save it by the bed? Am I being stupid? Damn it, Boozer, your arm's not gonna be fine. Mm. Son of a bitch. I gotta find something for his arm. I gotta learn how to pick up gunpowder. It's right there. Come on, let me pick up the gunpowder. You 
you can create new crossbow bolts by crafting them. Cedar saplings provide the wood, and scrap makes the tip. Combine the two in the survival wheel by expanding crossbow category and crafting the bolt. One deacon. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it one-handed. I see you down there. I see you. Just stand in there. What happens if we just run the other way? Are you awake? Yeah, Deke. What's up? I just saw someone sneaking around the safe house. What the hell? What's he doing? Ah, shows how to tether the camera to the NPCs again. Yes, it's very simple. R3, but I will show you in just a minute. Oh, I'm going this way first. J. Stabby says, yeah, I'm pretty sure Claire's energy is just caffeine plus days gone. Yep. Hey, where's the machete? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's on my Donkey Kong now, bitch. You're in so much trouble. There's also... Um, if I remember, if we can get there yet... There's a place where you can go pick up a fire axe, and this one is, uh, I think it was either J Stabby or OLDG. Mm. Okay, thank you. Yep. Thank you for that. Just trying... Just trying to look at the map. It might be... Remember, I think it's here. There's like a cool little overlook spot to get some, uh, get a fire axe and get some like Molotov uh, crafting materials and stuff. Probably just the day's gone. Yeah. I think that's what it is. A rag! Yay! Didn't have enough of them. Here it is. See me, don't 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 see me.
Oh, just says I've noticed there are a few freaks if you go down the other side after you get that fire axe. Oh, so just tell me, was this your tip or was this OLDG? You guys, you, you and Dandy Denny are like queens of knowing all of these like little details about the world that I think like Borislav and Rex are really good at like the bigger picture stuff, the the game mechanics, the how to get, how to unlock guns, how to do you know the best way to get this horde or that horde or whatever like you guys fucking rock but j stabby dandy denny oldg you you ladies are like queens of like the detail of the world where to find things how things are consistent across like various areas like dandy denny figuring out where to get machetes oh my god that's like that's like fucking da vinci levels of of thinking to me and jay stabby i don't remember if it was you or oldg um but you said that there's this little overlook here and the way you find it this white pickup the white pickup truck right there you can see it on the map and there's a path right next to it that leads up to this little overlook and it's the first place you can get a fire axe and there's not like a super great amount of loot up there but if you want the fire axe this is where you go if that's your if that's your play style this is where you go there are fire axes and machetes everywhere um if though and those so you never need to repair them especially if you're running the crossbow you never need to spend scrap on repairing your your melee weapon if you use the fire axe or the machete and to a certain extent you can use like the the um uh, what is it the ripper the lawnmower thing and the the ripper blade ripper blade that's it which is uh, medium medium good i kind of like it a lot of people like it i think it's kind of cool uh, Obi is with us. Hello, hello, Obi. Obscured by Ink. Welcome in. You do it that way all the time. So what you're saying, Jay Sabi, is if I go, if I descend on this side, like down here, and loop back around up to this mission, it eliminates some of the freakers that have spawned in here? Is that what you're saying? So we have... Um, a couple things we can't pick up yet, but there's, can't pick up that either, uh, but there's kerosene and nails and a, um, a spark igniter, I think. Over here you have a bottle and sterilizer. There's a cedar sapling, there's a health, um, thing. There's gunpowder, there's a uh, styrofoam cup, and would I pick up a rag? And over here, there's a fire axe. More nails, another spark igniter. And a little sleeping bag. So yeah, like a good place, especially if you're on like a new game plus or something, you could just pick all this shit up. Um, do I want to go with... See, the durability of the machete is really good compared to the fire axe but the fire axe damage is is marginally better i think i'm gonna go with the machete i just love the speed of it so go down the side with that that tree saying that tree <laughs> it doesn't narrow it down um all right so option one this way option two this way option three that way option four that way i think you're saying option four maybe Tis a cliff. Tis a cliff. Jay Stabby. What do you mean option one with then a, a deviation? Um, Kat says, don't hate me for this generalization. Women can memorize a grocery list as thick as a phone book. I can barely remember what I had for lunch. Uh, the fire axe is awesome, but the machete is cheaper to repair. Over by the tree where you got the sapling. Oh. Okay, so hop over the wall. Oh, okay. Oh, crouch. And then what, loop back around this way? 
or just go back uh, the way we came. So much good loot in the cascades that you need late game and of course you can't get back here to get it yeah you got it such a snabby and this is cool because it now leads you past the ambulance so you can get the med pack and stuff seem to be doing all right so far on on health And of course, top car. Oops. Uh, Cap says this method is much better. I usually go the usual way, then go left of the road to get those cars. There are usually several freaks. Now, does this hold after we've finished this and then we have to run this way? I think I remember correctly. There's one. Here's our next machete. You can get another machete here from the green truck. Right there. Oh no, two freaks. See another one up ahead. There's several. Oh, look, they're coming down the hill there. Oh, that's awesome. seen me. I love how early game they're kind of not bothered about you so much. Yeah, you still write it down on your phone, you still get it wrong, the grocery list. Oh, that's the machete you get, so you do it on the way not to go to the truck by O'Leary Mountain. Does she still have a fire? Ah, oh, interesting. Oh, shit. Finally. I'm leaving the mission zone. I'm not. I'm going towards the mission zone. I think I maybe should have just done the mission first and then <laughs> done this whole loop around. Probably would have been better. I just love how far you can go and how the freaks early game, like this, this early, they're kind of like not really that bothered about you. They're like, oh, someone to chair. Oh, never mind. I'm very lazy. I'm already like full. I'm full up on rags already. <gasps> bear trap! No bear traps. Not yet. God damn, there's so much stuff to pick up right here. Buy this blue pickup truck. Um, and the old Belknap Road. God, how to remember this? 
just one of those spots that you just drive past all the time. I guess this road here where the ambulance and everything is. Is that here? Shit, that's there. Do get them mixed up. Um, so by, you could always go get the stuff by the white pickup and then just come down and get the stuff right here. By this bike ramp. Oh shit. Nope. I saw someone. No, he didn't. gonna lead those freaks in. <laughs> Nightbot says, bear trap, my leg, my leg. God, look at that sky. Oh my fucking God. This game. But yeah, fuck you guys. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Huh? <gasps> Isn't that someone else? He's just more than you. Sake. He didn't get her. All right, what's what's now like? <laughs> there it is. Oh, she did it. She dodged it. Holy shit! I'm gonna fucking die. Can you heal, please? I always mess this up. You know what I see? Kerosene is what I see. Being spotted by an enemy, get out of their line of sight and hide. Eventually, they'll give up the search. Jay Stabby, I like doing this camping stealth too. I always, always seem to mess it up. I don't know why. I've probably done this mission, like redone this mission more times than anything else. 
That's the last of them. Must have followed us here. Sons of bitches. I swear to God, I was trying to, I was trying to like stealth kill her and it just wouldn't give me the button. And then she was like, oh, I see you. Just a few drifters looking to move in in our safe house. Like we were seeing before, it's time to start thinking about heading north. Major Silly Rabbit says, I really like this game, but I feel if the NPC were more interactive and lifelike, like in Red Dead 2, it would be incredible. You know, a lot of people say that the NPCs are not very good in this. And I guess it's like the human enemies maybe don't respond to like dead bodies and things like that, which is kind of a little bit of an oversight. But honestly, I kinda, I'm kind of i kind of glad uh, that they're not super awesome and super like on the ball because then I would, I would die more often. Um, but I do like what they did do well with this game is they made the enemies interact with each other in really smart ways. And that to me is what makes this game truly magnificent. It makes it so fucking special. Enemies don't do that anywhere near enough in other games. All right, see, now it would make sense to go this way and get the, um, get the stuff from the top of the hill. I kind of jumped the gun a little bit. There's a suppressor near here too. Ooh, do tell. Where? Because I have one already that we got at Crazy Willings. Um, Jay Sabby, if you can remember where it is. Yeah, making the Freakers go after other enemies is fantastic. I have my Fox Schizo notebook. If anyone wants one, you can get it from the merch store. Nell, doth my eyes, doth mine eyes deceive me? Are we playing Days Gone? Yeah, we fucking are. Yeah, we fucking are. And Ian L, I'm scared. I just turned on a PS5. Oh, you got yourself a PS5. Congrats. That's awesome. Yes, Abby, you do indeed have one. In fact, I think the um, the notebooks, the Fox Schizo notebooks, um, they may not be available on the store. We have t-shirts and other things with Fox Schizo. The problem is I don't control the prices very much. Uh, I, I can make them more expensive. Um, but there's like a minimum cost uh, product. And with a lot of the designs, I designed them myself. But the Fox Schizo one, a good, good friend of mine, who is a graphic artist, uh, graphic designer, graphic artist, incredible fucking artist. She designed this for me. And it's, of course, you know, it's based on Schizo's uh, shirt, his, like, basketball jersey that he wears, hence the number 32. Uh, but she gets a cut. She gets a cut from every sale of one of her designs. She did this one. She did the Drifter Arsenal one, the, the cool, like, layout of all of Deacon's, like, weapons and artifacts from the game, like the... Um, the radio and, and his hat and the mongrel's ring and the one percenter badge. And then it has like the, um, the chopper and the little stubby and the crossbow and things like that. And the baseball bat axe. Really fucking awesome. If you've not seen this design, go check it out. Just go look a marvel at how beautiful it is. You can buy it as an art print. You can buy it as a t-shirt. You can buy it on a mug. You can do lots of different things. Um, but my issue with, with Threadless, which is the service I use to print all of those, they're a great site. They can be kind of pricey for the stock. Like, I have to pay for the stock items, like a blank notebook, and then they will slap, a, you know, the design on it and send it to you. Yeah, print on demand. Um, you know what that is. I don't need to explain it. But the notebooks, there's very little profit margin. I'm not going to charge you guys, like, 30 fucking dollars or whatever for a, for a fucking notebook. Um, that's insane. If it's not the freaks. Uh, so... I think with with a few of the products, it doesn't make sense. I would actually lose money to sell the Fox Schizo and the Drifter Arsenal designs on certain products unless I charge like a fuck ton more. I can do that if you guys want. If, if you want to buy a specific product um, that's not available with a certain design, just let me know. There's all sorts of products on the site. I just, I kind of pick what I think are like the best things and also the ones that make sense. My bike um to me like the price versus you know the, the the profit margin um but yeah if you want anything just let me know 
Uh, Saber, hello. <laughs> your shoulders must, must hurt since you're carrying the whole hope the day's gone to on your shoulders. Yeah, I mean, day's gone to. Day's gone to. Obviously, obviously I wouldn't say no, but Days Gone this is, it. This is, is so, I don't want to say perfect because it's not perfect, but it's perfect to us. It's so beloved that I don't know at this point if they can make a sequel and have us all love it. Yeah, I mean, look at what happened with The Last of Us. It's a great game. The Last of Us 2 is a great game. The story, I personally think it should have been structured a little differently. Um rather than make us play a character we hate for half the game, maybe have us play a character we don't hate yet for half the game, and then have her do what she does or something, you know? Like, like switch it so you play as Abby first, and then we wouldn't know. We wouldn't know that she's someone that we hate. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, so I'm not saying that they would do that with Days Gone 2, but I think that I think it would be hard for fans to be happy because it is so beloved and we all say we want a sequel until so we get one and it's not what we individually imagined it would be it's not you know let's say they added in multiplayer i would be disappointed with that or let's say they didn't add in multiplayer other people would be disappointed with that Jason Abbey says, yeah, they don't do the Fox Gizzo unlined journal anymore. Prefer those. Pinto eats the spiral parts of notebooks. Oh, Pinto, you can't eat the spin. Fuck. Damn it, Copeland. Bad Pinto. Hey, you're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop. Yeah, so let's talk about what Bend is working on. Bike, I swear. Can we shoot this guy? Stop running. No. <laughs> Hey! I don't know nothing. I didn't do nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Bend is working on a new game. We know they have released information about it. They have released they they're working on a new game. It is new IP, which means intellectual property, which means it is a unique um story that is not based in an existing world, i.e. Days Gone or Siphon Filter or one of their other games. You know, it's not it's not something that already exists in the world. It's brand new, brand new story, brand new characters, nothing you've ever seen before. It's a rumor that it may be live service. And what that means, I, I had to look at the definition. I wasn't sure. Live service is basically, and someone correct me if I'm wrong or add to this if I'm giving incomplete information, um, but it's kind of like ongoing stories and missions and stuff that would be added in and microtransactions and you can you know you can play the game but you can also pay to get ahead and pay to unlock guns or skins or whatever the fuck microtransactions basically yeah. yeah, sometimes you have to leave well enough alone with games and movie sequels. Yeah. Um, BOP says I worry more about, but worry more about the mass exodus at Ben Studios. Most of the devs and writers who produce Days Gone have moved on to other projects. Yeah, I think that's that's kind of how it works in games. I mean, maybe not always. And I know that some of the people who are with Ben were with them for a long time. Um, but if they are in the early days of like creating a new game they don't always have Hello there. job roles open for certain things uh jesse hey jesse turning in bounties freaker ears can be collected and turned into encampment bounty collectors for trust and credits different freakers provide different rewards you got some bounties right um fuck it we might as well sell everything to here yeah. we don't even have like trust or anything at, at copeland's camp yet but um, but yeah, I don't know. I know that um, they've got they're going on to to create other things, and I I don't want to give any specifics, but I I like the idea that the people who put their 
fucking heart and soul into Days Gone, and that's one of the things that is evident, that is that is clear as fucking day, is the love that went into this game, the absolute fucking love that went into Days Gone from the creators at, at all levels, the level of detail, the level of passion. I hope and I, I'm confident that those people will go on to create great things with other companies and they will put that passion into future projects at other places. Um, so I think I think it's a good thing in a way, uh, but maybe not maybe not the best thing for Ben's next game. But I'm sure they'll attract other great people. Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. Work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, it would be very difficult to recapture the magic of Days Gone, with especially with a new group. Yes. I didn't have a lot of time for One of the best games I've played is Cowabunga. Hello, Cowabunga619. Welcome in. This game deserves a sequel. Being a mechanic requires Melissa, you're back. Peace of mind, said. Um, Sabre says, little off-topic funny thing. <gasps> you created the Fox Gizzo subreddit! Holy shit! You don't want that one. Holy shit! Well, fuck, I feel like I'm in the presence of a legend! That's awesome! I love, I always, anytime anyone says Fox Gizzo on the subreddit, because I moderate the subreddit, the Days Gone one, um, I always drop in a link to Fox Gizzo. Just That's fucking out. cool! Holy shit! We have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one. Like this one, Manny. Okay. Like this one, Manny. Oh, okay. Okay. See now, when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. <laughs> oh, Manny. Manny, Manny, Manny. So they left it like rattling around back there. Hey, and let's talk. I love how Copeland's like, yeah, no, let's just. Manny's not gonna say anything productive. Uh, Sony is to blame here. They do not. They do not see sales back in 2019 for this game on PS4. So they decided to cancel the sequel. Over the years, this game has got more and more love from fans who played when it launched on PC. Yep, yeah, PC, and also when it hit uh, PlayStation Plus and was a free game. I uh, played it back on PS4 in 2009. Loved it so much. Story was awesome. I love riding the bike. Hell yeah! Yes, so Saber. It's me. That's fucking awesome. That's awesome. Lake not holding out. You get a fair amount of trout. Have you been on the channel before? Have you been on one of my live streams, or did you just happen to find it randomly today? Like everything else. Yeah, grab a shovel and dig faster, Manny. <laughs> oh, hi, there's the MG45. Ooh, so OLDG, Old Lady D Geek, has, she's the one who sort of drew our attention to this as a gun that you can acquire early in the game she said she came in here one time and this person was like asleep or dead or something and um she just picked up the mg45 like off their body and then someone else i forget who but someone was saying that you can actually pull freakers or something to no, marauders i'm sorry marauders to the gates and they will kill that person and you can go loot their body Cowabunga says, I was just checking who was playing Days Gone, you found your that? channel. Awesome. You found it randomly. Well, shit. Holy shit. Well, welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, Kat says, I agree that we have these certain expectations for Days Gone 2, but the main people who were involved in Days Gone 1 have left. Yeah. DG2 wouldn't be what we want because the creative juices are gone. Yes. Yeah. The folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. And also, sorry to talk over the cutscene, but like what we learned in my interview with John Garvin on the podcast, his vision for this was like nothing we had expected. And not for this, but for sequels, for the trilogy. Oh God, I punched the mic, I'm sorry. Um, for the trilogy, his vision for what, where the story would go is not something that I think most people expected. And even like myself as a writer, I was trying to determine like, what have they, what does he set up? Like, what are the nuggets of establishing the next story? And like, we all assume like Lisa would probably be the main character or something like that. And he's like, no. Hold on. I love Deacon in this bit. We on wore a hat like this, didn't we? I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Poop. 
shit. I love Deacon's, like, aversion to being touched. Like, when people touch him or hug him, he's just like, no. Mm-mm. Get off me. radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. Yeah, Cowbunga, if you haven't heard of the Days Gone podcast, um, if someone could type exclamation point podcast, oh shit, that may not come up on Twitch. Um, but anyway, uh, it's on YouTube, it's on Spotify, it's on any podcast app, uh, Days Gone podcast, and... Um, yeah, I interviewed John Garvin, the, um, the writer. I interviewed Jeff Ross, the director. And I interviewed Eric Jensen, uh, the lead open world designer. And I interviewed um, the actors behind, oh God, let me see, uh, Schizo. I've interviewed Schizo. That was fucking awesome. That was my first actor interview. Um, I've interviewed Wade Taylor. I interviewed um, the guy who plays O'Brien. Um, I interviewed, um, I don't know, who else? Oh yeah, who's that Who's that one? Uh, Sam Witwer who played Deacon St. John. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been a fucking trip uh, doing the podcast. It, it's been incredible. Um, but yeah, I've got to talk to some really fucking awesome people behind this game um, and some awesome people from the community as well. Uh, Kevin McAllister, who ran the Broken Road blog, was integral in the early days of the community, um, like building the community. Uh, he now works at Bend, so I got to go visit him at Bend Studio when I went to Oregon uh, a year and a half ago. Um, fuck, who else? Uh, Jesus, just amazing people, amazing people. And we've talked about, we talked about characters. We've talked about um, the systems in the world. Um, you know, the sort of the different kind of ways the game mechanics work um we've talked about the guns we've talked about uh the politics of the game the different camps things like that just so many so many cool people this this community is filled i'm gonna break my controller because i'm getting all excited this community is filled with so many good people so many awesome people who love this game think about this game in depth like have deep meaningful thoughts in this game is I'm not dissing Rex. <laughs> of course, Spornicus Rex. And Boris Lab as well. Fucking legends. Um, but yeah, just getting to like talk to to members of this community and having you guys like on the the live streams. Like we all just come together. We have a Discord as well. Uh it, where's my button for the Discord? There it is. Um you know where most of the people on the Discord are it's come out of days gone you know days gone fans this community is awesome and filled with such great people and filled with people who absolutely fucking adore this game and think so deeply about this game there is so much to think about this game this is not a shallow game this is a a game of many layers um but yeah spawnicus rex of course of course <laughs> cap says if you're watching rex i got your back um, oh, you were actually going to check out the interview and then you happen upon the stream. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Well, welcome in. Seriously. Now, I hope you stick around. We're going to be streaming this for a while. So I hope you come back again and, like, become part of this community. I mean, you already are. If you created the Fox Schizo subreddit, you were here before me. You, you were already a part of this community. I joined your community. Um, who just said, why are you here? Who are you talking about? Are you talking about me? Was that you? Can we buy guns from this guy? Or supplies or anything yet? Oh, we can buy ammo. Cool. Not buying to Um. <laughs> Which is I, the kill count or the rant count? I just want to see how sorry I am. I, I didn't Barappi know. says, who is the Spawnicus Rex? Never heard of him. I don't know. Some... It was like, a drifter bike, Manny. T Rex or something, I don't know. I'll make it up to you, I swear. I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know. It's not. Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, and what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You're gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. 
Just get the like, fuck. how did he part out the gas tank already? Man, like, we just lost the bike. Wait, I'm not, I'm not just saying... <laughs> Paris is getting up on me now. I'm not dissing Rex. Why am I? I'm not dissing Rex. You guys know I wouldn't do that. Oh, Rex, you may have shared the stream on the server. God damn it. You're not supposed to do that. Now I'm going to have to get my mod hat on and go and take it down for self promo. <laughs> One no trouble. Whatever you say, man. Oh. He probably has a list of parts and people. Oh, like that are waiting, waiting for the, uh, um, waiting for parts. Okay, so what are we going to do? Focus shot. Focus shot. I've already tried to use focus twice. <laughs> um, yeah. Love me some focus. Wait a sec. And now we can save. Let's create. Save. Um, gosh, I haven't played this since November. Holy cow. Someone was asking earlier if this is my first playthrough. This is number 12. Playthrough number 12. Jesus. This and of course, you know, I've bike. watched it a bunch and replayed missions and things like that. Um, okay, so. We can go get bandages. We can go do the radio tower. We can go back to O'Leary Mountain, which we can actually fast travel to, but we won't. And we can just go exploring. Um. Let's go. Let's just go do the. Do the narrow checkpoint. Oh my god. Okay. If you've lost your bike, blah, 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 you can get it back. Yep. Booster, you there? Yeah, Nick. How you doing? How's the arm? And of course, because we're playing on PlayStation, no nitrous installed. Uh, I'm still going to head to that Nero checkpoint, find some uh, sterile bandages, uh, ointment, something. Yeah, sure, whatever. Sure, whatever. Make sure the mountain's clear. Those are, no, no, those are third degree burns. You stay there, you rest, okay? I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. Oh shit, we're in trouble. Uh, I guess uh, you know, I could I don't only roll up on this room this way. Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess I'll see what I can find, I guess. Um no nestle hordes. I'm gonna keep reminding you, yes, please do, please do. Oh, uh, Cowbunga, my message is not getting sent in chat. Oh, uh, I don't think I have any limits on Twitch. I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube together. This is really, um, I've been trying to set this up for a while. YouTube is usually where I stream. Uh, the Twitch channel is not new, but we've had a lot of technical issues with streaming. Um, I think I've got it figured out now, so I think we should be good. But I don't believe I have anything that should be preventing you from sending a message. Um, that's weird. And I haven't seen anything that Nightbot... Nightbot sometimes is, is a little, um, overzealous. He's, he's a, an eager intern. Uh, I love deep talking to himself. You do the same. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. I, you did say something about Joni's wife. I'm sorry. My chat is moving so fast. You did say something. I did see it. Um, yeah, so we can actually talk a little bit more about that later but yeah Joni Joni after finishing the drinking himself to death storyline players can read Deacon's journal entry the entry talks about Boozer's wife as she died and how the MC had to cover for him Boozer and Joni got drunk went on a bike ride and then crashed off highway 97 unfortunately she passed away afterwards yes yeah so the where is it storylines um Hang on, how do we... I don't know if any are going to show up. Oh, here we go. So, when you go into the storylines, it shows you there on the left, it says, I remember being the storyline, and then you expand it out, and it shows you each individual mission that you've done. 
every one of them will have this little write-up. You know, Booz is right. I am thinking about heading up back to where Sarah died. I can't let it go. He's also right about riding north, away from here, not look back. Maybe it's time. So you can go and you can read all of these, like, little, you know, Deacon's little thoughts, his little insights, and uh, sometimes they, they give you a lot more context for the world. So here we have You Got a Death Wish and Drifters on the Mountain. Uh, Nightbot, Nightbot is a cheeky little asshole. Yes. Um, yeah, some people on the subreddit do complain about... about Deacon talking to himself. Oh, he dodged it. Hate it when they do that. I hate it early game before you unlock the skill that gives you like more moves. It's like, oh shit. Um, mm, what was the same? Yeah, Deacon talking to himself. I think people just. They just expect something tonally a little different. This is think. it. The near a checkpoint. I gotta find some shit for boozers. Yeah, Cap, same. I've never read all of them. This is someone who is in love with the world and has made 51 episodes of a podcast about it, and I still have not yet read all of the uh, the mission notes, which is shameful. Fucking shameful. Yeah, come at me, bitch. But oh God, I don't have bull rush. Damn, she, that hurt. Nope, not medkit. Shit, did we use a medkit by mistake? I didn't use a medkit. I hate it when it does that. Nero speakers can be disabled without making a sound by cutting them down or shooting them with suppressed guns. <laughs> How many do we have at this one? I have my I get my notebook out. Um I try to try to write it down every time so I have like a I want to have a complete list. So I can refer to it, but I always forget to write it down. But yeah, two speakers, we have that written down. Just the two. Nope, not back here. Another place to get an axe. Bingo, here it is. Oh god, Control. Control is the only game I've ever played where I read everything. Control is amazing for the um, the level of detail and world building. It's just, it's so fucking good. I couldn't help myself, like, I, I was compelled to read everything. Yeah, people without inner dialogue be like, Deacon yelling is annoying. I think people just don't realize that it's like his inner voice. Or maybe it's not. Maybe he is actually saying it out loud, but to him it's his inner voice. He's just talking to himself. Um, there's some problem with your Twitch chat. It's not sending the whole chat. Just send your message. Has been held for review by Automod. Oh. Hmm. I don't... I don't know about that. Um... Hang on stuff in the way. Let me see if I can fix that. I'm like trying to, I'm so new to, to Twitch to like actually live streaming and, um, uh, like setting up the channel and stuff. I'm, 
I still have to like think about where is everything? Where is that setting? Where would I find it? Let's have a look. Security and privacy? No, that's not going to be it. Um, create a ja dashboard. Let me see. If anyone knows, let me know in the chat. If it's, if it's going to let you. Shit, I don't know. I don't know where to find it right now. Um, we'll take a look. We'll take a look later and I'll fix that. I apologize, Cowabunga. Um, um, YouTube is the same, 8-Bit Terror on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, feel free to come over to YouTube if you're having trouble with Twitch and vice versa. If you have trouble with with YouTube, feel free to uh, head over to Twitch. Whichever whichever platform you want to watch on, whichever's easiest for you, whichever works so best for you. you better start. We now have both. Yes. Got to turn off auto mod. Okay, yeah, I didn't know it was on. That's was really weird. It's more annoying where Aloy talks to herself and tells you the answer to a puzzle. Oh my gosh, yes, Aloy, shut up. Hmm, maybe if I do this. I, I know, I know, I'm looting. Leave me be. Or oh, I hate it in video games where they say something helpful that doesn't help. Like, maybe if I found a fuse. And you're like, okay, but I've looked everywhere. Where? I don't see it. Well, maybe if I go up there. And you're like, what? I don't know where you're looking. Where are you looking? Ah, uh, should we do micro recorders? Sigo, hello! Uh, at this point, I'm going to try to play Days Gone because every time... I drop by. You have a playthrough going. Oh my gosh! I, we played so many games since the last playthrough of this. Our unit is getting ready to pull out. Got word a few minutes ago. All the work we've been doing out here is a waste of time. Hundreds of infected people are swarming up the highway out of farewell. There's no stopping them. Checkpoints are all gotta run. run. We're pulling out. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah, we played. We've been play since the last playthrough of Days Gone. We've done Red Dead Redemption. We've done um, Rise of the Ronin. We've done what else? Um, Dishonored. Um, oh my God, I can't remember. We've done so many games. What's this? Nero Tech. And then we come back. Injector. Of course. Today's gone. Where it all started. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to sleep. No, no, I didn't mean to sleep. No. Okay, we're sleeping. <laughs> I was just thinking about pressing triangle to save and I just automatically hit square for some reason. Um, I never sleep in these games. Oh, Ian says, I remember Sam saying about the delirium of the world. Uh, he would talk to himself out loud where Deke wouldn't even realize it was out loud instead of his, his inner monologue. Yes. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's why so many people are convinced that he's actually talking out loud is because that's the way Sam played it. That he was, yeah, he was, he's talking out loud. Um, without realizing that he's actually talking to himself. People can hear him. Bless! Hello, hello! Welcome in! Oh, oh, you saw me. Um, I actually need a new machete. Oh, fuck. What was that? Ooh! Get away from me! What was that shot? Come on! That was not. That was just me panicking. <laughs> that was a headshot right between the eyes. Got it. Oh, thanks, Abe. Terrible for welc welcoming me in. Of course. Of course, of course. Yeah. 
Boozer, you there? <laughs> Boozer, God nice. damn it, answer me. <sighs> He's not picking up. Where the hell is he? Oh, I was like, why did I leave my bike? Uh, it's over here. Um, hello? There it is. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit pause and uh, I'm going to go get some more coffee. We're going to take a short, like, four minute intermission. I won't be gone long. Please do stick around. We're going to keep playing this for another couple of hours. Don't go anywhere. Um, but yeah, just go refresh your drinks, have a snack, whatever it is you want to do. Use the loo. Travis, this is your pee break. Um, and I will see you all in a few minutes. No! No! Oh, f me! Sharks. Sharks. There's gonna be sharks. How is she holding her breath? And then there's like sharks, and she's like, oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Where are we going? Oh god! No! 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 He won't headbutt me! <laughs> oh god, I pressed it with my nose. I pressed the button with my nose. Oh god, I fucking hate this. This is not fun. of him to wait while i pulled the lever but good fucking god you guys are just talking about snl i want to yell you stop talking about snl i just i just nearly died claire's going on about some serious shit and we're just chatting about 30 year old snl sketch fuck you guys fuck you guys where's the shark where's the shark oh the shark's up there okay that's fine you stay up there you stay up there the Sharks woke up this morning and chose violence, they did. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. A whole bunch of fuck a whole bunch of fuck you. Please, 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 please. No sharks, no sharks, no barracudas, no sharks. Get out of the water. Oh my god, we did it! Oh my god, we did it! I'm actually shaking a little bit. We blew the shark up! Its teeth fell out! Its teeth are separate to its face! Fuck you, shark. Oh, god. Glorious, glorious day. Oh, oh. Oh. Don't look behind you. There's nothing there. Oh god! Oh god, the sun's gone. What are we doing, mate? This is a bad idea. You take the right. No, no. No, 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 no. The gate is open. Oh, please don't leave me alone in the swamp. Oh, I'm actually freaking out a little bit by the. I want to put my mask on. The alligators won't see me if I wear my mask. Oh, I am not. I don't even have my shotgun. I don't want this. I'm actually really, really, really not a fan of this. Oh, God. I don't like this. Oh, no. I saw the lamp in the tree. I just realized there's the dude up there. And he's going to be like, no, don't come out. There's a giant gator that's waiting for me. Oh, God. It's going to have red eyes. Oh my god. So fucking scared. It's gonna get us, isn't it? It's gonna... Mm -hmm. Oh god! Oh boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. No, no, no. Oh, is he gonna get eaten? Oh god, is he gonna get eaten? Jules? Arthur will go. I will? Quick! Go on, Arthur. Go! I'm not doing our reviews. Let's let game over. We're gonna play something else. Let's play Days Gone. This is stupid. That is not the way we do things. I do things. Fuck. All right. All right. Fuck. Oh. Are, Are you just gonna let him die? No, I'm going to. You fucking idiot. Oh, good lord! I see that. Wave. Oh my god. I was gonna eat him. I was gonna eat him. Oh, I knew it. Oh, shit. Oh, we've seen him. Where'd he go? Are you serious? There's no way this guy would be gone. Oh, God, if this controller vibrates, I'm gonna fucking. God. I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm here. I'm here. Right. Hey, do you have any legs? Oh, oh, and he's bleeding. 
Did he lose his leg? Hang on. Oh my word. We can't see. Can we go? I want to... I kind of want to put the camera under the water. I do not want to see. Shoot something! Don't look behind you! There's nothing there. Oh god! I put my headphones back on and all I can hear is myself squeaking. Oh my god, there's nothing there! Oh, yeah, I don't like sharks, I don't like crocodiles. Um, Travis, do you think you fixed the auto mod? Excellent. How did, but, well, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, okay, let's, let's get back into it. Do I have, I have a feeling that the window I'm using to watch the, to monitor the chat is maybe giving me the YouTube top chat, not live chat. And I, I can't find a way to change it. So apologies if I don't see your message, feel free to repeat yourself. Or mods, if you see that I'm not seeing someone, if I'm missing someone in the chat, let me know. All right, what are we doing? What shall we do? We have the booze, the, the boozers, the bandages for boozer. Um, we're not going to go do the infestation zone. Oh God, I, I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself. We're not doing infestation zones and hordes. What the fuck? What are we doing? I guess let's go, let's go see boozer. I don't know. What's, what's the point in anything? We go do some ambush camps. Go see Boozer first. We got bandages. Oh god, no. On the bike. On the bike. Why does my email not understand that if I move an email if I move an email from a certain address to the junk folder, that everything from that address should go into the junk in the future. I know, I know, my god. Tell me about it. I worked at something with Gmail, so I have a bunch of different email addresses. And um, I figured out that what is happening with some of them is they, they redirect having like one main email address that I use for like, I log in as that one and all my other email emails come to that inbox. So when I mark it as spam, I, it's not actually marking the email as spam. Um, or it won't do it because it is a forward from a different email address. So I have to go into the other email address. If that makes any sense. Are you following me? Does that help at all? Probably not. Just tired of listening to your paranoid truth. Dandy Denny, hello, hello. We were talking about you earlier. Little Miss Machete Queen. Speaking of which, we need to get a machete. Um, nearest machete is... Let me think, let me think. Um... I'm gonna... There's one there. Oh, we're going up to O'Leary Mountain, so we'll just get one on the way, though. It's going to take us up the back way. Um, the machete I like to get is here. I don't remember if there's any up the back way. Well, let's just follow the map. Um, unfog it a little bit. And we'll see if we can find... The machete as we go. Just this way. The same way. I'm always trying to like learn the landscape and not so much rely on the map, but it's hard, especially in the Cascades. Especially in the Cascades. I'll deal with that another time. We're not dealing with that right now. Um, Gomez gonna take off? When they left, it appears they may have stolen some automatic rifles. Oh wait, no, Gomez's still here. 
Um, mm, it's not too far from the gate for Jesus O'Leary. Thanks for the heads up. I do what I can. Go back. Do what you can, son. I was for a second. I was like, maybe we could take on this horde, but no hordes, no hordes, no infestation zones. Oh, oh shit! When your bike is low, I was like, oh my god, did I leave? The, let the bike get low on fuel. No hordes. Yeah, above the logging camp. Thank you, Goma. Um. Yeah, this one, I know where this one is, and I know where... I know where the ones that I drive past regularly are at. Um, we don't dig? Oh, of course this one's not going to have respawned, because we just picked it up. Oh, shit. All right, well, we'll go refuel, then we'll go get another different one. No nitrous installed. The logging camp has great loot. Oh, it does in fact have a machete. All right. Good point. And we do have to do the infestation zone there. That is one that we'll have to do. By the way, thank you to everyone who's watching on Twitch right now. Um, I appreciate you guys watching there. I am trying to get that channel set up. Um, and trying to... Oh, we've already looted everything. Uh, trying to get the numbers up on that one so that I can be... What is it? Affiliated, I think, is, is the Twitch first level. So I can... It basically unlocks all of the kind of cool shit that you can do. So if you are watching on YouTube right now and you have a Twitch account and you like to watch things on Twitch, I would appreciate it if you would go and, and watch it on Twitch instead, if that's easy for you, whatever's easiest, but... Hey! Oh, ah! Don't hurry! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I love the scene. Shit, dig. Oh, you blown your goddamn head off. Look, uh, yeah, I would appreciate the little boost in numbers if you're able to, if you want to, no pressure, but it is appreciated. I'll stop talking now. Just dig. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? We're gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah, or do both. Do both, Andy Denny. Yes, indeed. line from Boozer, like, I'll, I'll do better. Like, I'll be better. He's just willing himself. It's like me whenever I get sick. I'm like, no, I don't want to get sick. Like, just get over it. Just be better. Doesn't work that way. Does not work that way. Um, mm -mm. Must be a guy thing, but once the SMP9 is unlocked, the melee weapons are redundant to us. I just, that to me is just insane, because I'm like, but... I mean, Boris, obviously you play so different and, and Rex too, you know, you guys don't don't appreciate the beauty of stealth necessarily. I don't mean that in like you don't appreciate like you don't get it, but like you appreciate the badassery more, the badass weapons, that's sort of where you gravitate towards. Um, whereas I like, I really appreciate being sneaky, sneaky and stealthy all throughout the game and and getting up close and and fucking personal with a machete it doesn't get much more personal than a boot knife a boot knife oh logging camp yes let's go to the logging camp and um 
we don't have the mission to do it yet. Maybe that doesn't... Maybe that doesn't show up yet. Yeah, let's find the machete. Where exactly is the machete? Do you remember? This tabby? I mean, of course you remember. Duh. Stupid fucking question. Um, but can you tell me what I meant to say? Okay, oh, here we go. Yay, here's the mission stone. It's gonna be crawling. Uh, yeah. Nah, nah, you gotta leave the bike out here, Deke, or you can pull all of them down on you. I do indeed like the close quarters. I can smell the flesh rot in between the freak's teeth. Approach. Yes. Hey, Deke, you there? I was thinking about heading down to that logging camp and clear out those nests. I've been seeing more freaks up here. Boozer, no, no, you're gonna get you in the cabin killed. with the blue truck. Excellent. Okay, you gotta wait till your whole brother. Uh, I'll wait till your whole. So I'll take care of the nest. Okay, such a nice way of it's not like wait till you're strong or wait till you know you've got your strength up. He, um, or take him out while it's still like cabin with the blue truck over here. I don't think I've ever been in this. I'm not sure I've ever been over this way. I love how every fucking time I play this game, I think I've been in here. There's something new. Something new to learn. Always. Ah, uh, wrong cabin, I think. The little oh, the little shed by it. Oh, yeah, machete. Fuck yeah. All right. Let's go this way. There's just so much loot here. Freak infestations are highly dangerous areas where freakers congregated to build their nests to hibernate during the day. Burn all nests in an infestation. Clear a path okay. or fast travel which I'll never use. Hatchet. I'm never going to use the hatchet. I like to use the hatchet. But, you know, machete. Oh yeah, a nest. Okay, you boys just keep right on sleeping. Don't pay no attention to me. You know they're going to, Deacon. All right. Fire in the hole. Come on, boys and girls. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Oh fucking yeah. Violet! Jones! Violent! Jones! Hello! Hello! Welcome in! Welcome, welcome! Um, the hatch is crappy, but it'll do in a pinch. <laughs> and Tandy Daniels like, I was just about to say that. I think there's a reason why I've never... I don't okay. use it. One nest done. How many more you got? Travis says you just burnt a nest. You weren't supposed to burn a nest. You just burnt a nest. Oh, there are bear traps here. Uh, these nests we have to burn. This is story, story nest burning. Bear trap, bear trap. Now you're here. Where the bear traps? There it is. Use this again. Oh shit, I set that on fire. I didn't want to set that on fire. Come on, you sons of bitches, come on! Oh, they missed the bear trap. Seriously? Mm. 
they just nice to open up the smoke on the mountain mission. Um, I get spotted. I don't know. I think you have to do the um, no starving patriots to get smoke on the mountain. Because I I usually have done smoke on the mountain before I'll do the logging camp. Or I'll do the logging camp kind of in pieces. I do like two or three nests. Because like right now there's freaks everywhere. And you have four nests in this one building. So I'll do like one of them and then run away. And then come back later. Um, but I could be wrong. I mean, if you... If you... Um, have seen it when you do these that then unlocks that, then... I believe you. You've played this game more times than I have. So I believe you. Boris, you gotta go. You're helping with the cooking tonight. We'll try... Not to burn down my house in the process. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping in. I'm glad you you were enjoying your drink. Drinking days gone. This place is a death trap. Oh, goddamn freaks! What the hell are you doing in here? Getting kind of cold out here. Thought I'd help you out. <laughs> the, oh, there's the fuck it. I missed the rag, but never mind. Run, 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 run. Oh, come on. Oh, someone stepped in the bear trap. I love this song. This is the Rager Bear track from the soundtrack. My bike. Go. Like Run him over. Oh, no, Nitrous is all you could tell. I was immediately like hitting Nitrous. Nitrous installed. No nitrous installed. Come back later. Finish burning out these nests. Ooh. Should mark over there. Dandy Danny, lunch and coffee. What are you having for lunch? And Sabre, I saw your comment earlier. Um, hang on, you said something about you love this game so much it hurts. I love that. I feel that. Do tell me. So everyone watching right now, um, if you if you want to, uh, I know some of you have, have talked about this before, but tell me, tell everyone else, like, how you came to find this game like what your expectations were and what made you fall in love with it what what made it surprise you or just why why do you love it all right so we have no car trap here which means there's ambushes down there. I don't see him though. Hmm. Hello? Is anybody here? Would anybody like some Deacon St. John bullets? It's quiet. There's almost always ambushes here. Oh, Sabi, you 
have the story, but it's sad. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to uh, hit on something that makes you sad. Shit. Well, if you want to share, if you want to share, this is like, like, uh, Cap says, this is a safe place if you would like to. Um, but understandably, if you don't want to, that's also cool. This game gets me. Like, you, you get this game. This Goma. Yeah. This community is a good support group. Fuck yeah. I tell you what, this has got me... I've talked about this before. This game and this community has got me through a lot. Um, a lot of... A lot of, a lot of shitty things. A very dark time in my life. Um... I don't know if I can say without without crying. I've already cried once on the stream. I've already had tears in my eyes once. But yeah, I get it. You guys are going to ruin my makeup again. No crying. There's no crying in baseball. I get I get rather emotional about days gone and just how much it means to me. Violent Jones says my expectation my expectations were low. I stupidly watched the IGN review but saw the game for sale second hand. Don't tell John Carvin. <laughs> Long story short, you had a dream about it. So you had a dream and you were like, oh, yeah, OK, I'll, I'll get it. Um, this kind of I mean, I had even lower expectations. I'd never heard of it. I somehow managed to miss the marketing. I mean, I love I love me, you know, a bad boy protagonist, an anti-hero. I love zombies. I, I don't specifically love bikers, but, you know, the sort of that vibe is uh, is definitely something that is perfect for me. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I'll start and uh, I just missed all of the marketing, never heard of it. And then Amazon popped up a recommendation of like, oh, you probably like this game um, in April of 2021, no, March of 2021. And it was 20 bucks on sale or whatever for the, um, the disc on PS4. And I was like, you know what? I just got done playing The Last of Us Part 2. And then I'd played... Um, uh, what is it called? Uh, fucking Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And Odyssey, I hated it. And I say that as a fan of Assassin's Creed, like I fucking love Assassin's Creed. I have an Assassin's Creed wallet that I've had for, God, almost a decade. And I still use it every day. Someone commented on it just, just like two days ago uh, when I took my kiddo to the zoo. Actually, it's on Friday. I took my kiddo to the zoo and the guy behind the counter was like, cool black flag wallet dude and i was like hell yeah you a fan he's like hell yeah um and uh he didn't call me bro but um yeah i love assassin's creed but but odyssey man oh oh it tastes it tested my patience it really did test my patience and i needed what i thought was going to be just a little palate cleanser you know just like some sort of little game that i could play for like maybe yeah 10 15 hours maybe i'll have a good gameplay loop um, there's probably something satisfying about like the the melee or or whatever, and um, I don't know, killing zombies, cool, awesome. And then I'll go on to my next big obsession, which was I was planning for it to be Horizon Zero Dawn, um, and then a year later I was still playing Days Gone on on loop. Um, I've missed a lot in the chat. Hang on, let me let me scroll back up. Let me scroll back up. Um. So, this group is family, says Goma, yeah. Saber says, the game is very special to me because I played it when it released. I was dealing with the loss of a loved one. I remember getting choked up when Deacon rides the bike. Oh, yeah. It's okay, Saber. I get emotional all the time playing, playing this game, talking about this game. I'm sorry for your loss, and I'm glad that you found something, like a lot of us have, that... It's cathartic. Um, yeah, those two bike ride into Lost Lake and to Wizard Island are awesome. The great music. 
Uh, Violent Jones says I had a dream shortly after I started playing it. Something pulled me in and I just can't quit. Hell yeah. Joe Schmo says, love the emotion. Never apologize for feeling. Absolutely. A song, Hell or High Water. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cap, how I got into Days Gone. I love the game and I got it while I was waiting to get The Last of Us 2. Oh. So for you, it was like, a will play this until the good game comes out. And then you're like, oh, shit, this is the good game. Yeah, it took you a while to play The Last of Us 2 because you played Days Gone so much. Um, Jay Stabby says, Saber, I can relate. I think a lot of us can. I lost my parents within nine months of each other. So the themes of grief and loss really resonate. Ian, you loved Odyssey. I mean, it, it, to each their own. It's a good game. It's just it wasn't, for me, what I love about Assassin's Creed. It threw by the wayside. It kicked it out, out of the car and said, bye. And that, that kind of pissed me off. Uh, Mel says, I saw a stream of it, and the streamer kept saying it was silly and a sloppy game. Sloppy game, and I wondered what was wrong with it, because I loved it. Oh, my God. What fucking... What? What? Silly and sloppy. How Were they, like, 12 or something? I mean, Jesus. Um, let's go this way. I'm all sniffly. We're going to leave the bike right here. Uh, yeah, preaching to the choir. Just finished the storyline for the 49th time. Goma. Oh, my God. Um, uh, we need two... Oh god, this save is from 20... I haven't... No. The save is from 2022. I haven't played it on this machine. Oh, we switched the PlayStations. We used to stream off the other one. And now we stream off this. That makes sense. Um, god, I interrupted myself. What was I saying? I've never reacted emotionally to a game before like I have this game. Lots of waterworks. The story is just so relatable, says Mel. Who hasn't lost someone? Mm -hmm. I can't even read out the rest of the comment. Oh, Jesus, something went down. wonder if the poor bastards had anything worth looking for. Oh, sorry. Uh, also, the relationship between Deke and Boozer and Deke and Sarah is so real. Yeah. Oh, it pisses me off so much when people are like, don't understand the the relationships in this game and just how fucking real they are. Oh god, I actually have tears running down my face. Um, Yomi, you bought this game before you got your PS4. Holy cow! Nomad is with us. Nomad, hello. You've been playing Origins from scratch. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Wolves! Oh shit! No, I don't. I've forgotten what to do with wolves. Um. I wanted to redo it without getting the Poison Predator Bow skill. I hate that skill. I don't remember it. I only played Origins one time. Uh, the storylines, character interactions, and relationships are so relatable. With all its flaws, Days Gone is personal perfection. Yep. Ian says, if I have old PS2 games, will they work on PS5? I don't think so. But I haven't tried. Um... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh shit, Hayate is with us, holy fucking cow. The amount of knowledge I carry for this game now is insane. Your fault, yes, yes. I take full responsibility and you're welcome. Um, do you want to talk a little bit, Hayate, about, about what you have coming up or not yet? Um, no, I said I was originally lamenting the box exclusivity of State of Decay 2 when I found out about Days Gone. Is that how you found it? You see, I was like moaning about how odyssey i'm sorry yeah odyssey like ruined assassin's creed and i'm like well i'm just gonna play this stupid zombie game and here we are um fucking love this game wolf says travis got like tears or, or tissue or something stuck in my eye now uh goma my wife doesn't play video games and she hates it when i play resident evil uh but she watches this game even now oh shit oh my god you guys are, i can't keep up with the chat um, mm, Nylon Gog, you came in at an emotional moment. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. 
PS3 or PS2 the only way to play those games. Oh, it's not backwards compatible. This can come only to have a crying room. I had to say Ricky is your favorite character. Interesting. Um, you're half working, half paying attention, so we, we can talk about it, but I may be delayed. I'm okay not talking about it. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to steal your thunder. Um, but everyone here right now needs to go follow Hayate's channel. You will not regret it. He has something coming up that you will like. Give him a follow. Give him a follow. And, uh, oh God, I'm not going to do this with the fucking crossbow. <laughs> nope. I don't even think I have the skill yet to, like, escape grapples and stuff. Animal grapples. Fuck you, Wolfie. Do I even have... Do I have anything? Flashbang? Go, my Deacon, Boozer, and Lisa are my favorites. Use everything. Yeah, Mel, famous last words. I'm gonna play the stupid zombie game now. It can't hurt me. Travis says, oh, no damage, Jay's gone. I know nothing. I know nothing. I can neither confirm nor deny anything. Like I said, just give him a follow. You will not regret it. So, uh, just to fill in anyone who's just joined, we are playing a new game, Fresh Start, Hard 2. Uh, this is not a no damage run. <laughs> this is not a no shots fired run. This is nothing, nothing that fancy. We're doing no hordes, no infestation zones. There will be no fast travel. Um, the only infestation zone we can do is the uh, logging camp, obviously, because you have to. Um, holy shit, Viola Jones just became a member! Holy cow! Thank you! Welcome to membership! Uh, but yeah, we're doing doing that and just trying to kind of find different ways, things to play about with, different things to do. Um, oh, hi. All right, we'll keep this. Um, maybe pick up some ammo for it. All the damage. Yeah, we're doing all the damage. This is an all damage run through. Um, it's it takes a lot of skill to do that. <laughs> uh, oh, I see Captain Gavin's. Yay, yay, yay! Yeah, thank you, thank you, Violet. I really do appreciate it. I, I said this earlier. You know, this channel does run on viewer contributions and memberships and shit like that. But also, like, it's about the community. You fucking guys, this community is just the best and I love it and I love all of you guys and I also love stealth and killing these people Come on. take some takes a minute it's not the quickest way through this game but it is very satisfying There you are. Come on, come check it out. I love how I hate the eagle eye skill, but I'll use it sort of sneakily with the rocks. Is that a rock? <laughs> Is that a rock? Something's out here. Mm hmm. Oh shit, calm down, Deacon. A rock. Nope. A stab. Jesus, Billy. I didn't know you stole it, killing a man. There's usually someone who walks down here. What the fuck are they? I get nervous when I know someone's here and it's like, I don't know if I'm gonna get spotted if I come out or if I should beep. Stay put. What? 
Always be looting. J-Stab, are you going to go get lunch? All right, see if you're still alive. We should be going for another hour or so. Uh, so hopefully you, you can rejoin. Um, what are you having for lunch or where are you going for lunch? And can you bring me some back? I'd love to get a headshot on this person, but I just really don't think this gun is going to pull it off. for that person over there to fuck off. Yeah. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off. Give me a loot. Nobody, nobody. Nobody who's going to sneak around this rock and stab you in the back. I love all the things they do with the with the NPCs that kind of make you worry that you've been seen where they do that like lean like they're looking or when they say hey and it's like they're talking to someone not you love all the little like um i don't even know what would you, what would you call those little moments that freak you out Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. BOP wanted me to say about the uh, the photo mode thing, and it, we didn't have any enemies nearby. So if you go into photo mode, if you hit R3, it will toggle to the other NPCs. So you can get some like good photo mode pictures and stuff like that. It gives you a little bit more freedom with the photo mode to like get a view of the terrain from like a different angle or something. Uh, let me fix this. There we go. Um, but also it lets you know if you've been seen, if they're looking for you, if they're coming for you, and also where they think you are. So you can see where the enemies are and where they think you are. So all you have to do is not be where they think you are and be somewhere else. And then you can use photo mode to find them. It's fucking awesome. I love it. I love this little technique. Some may call it like cheating or cheesing or whatever, but it's, it's not. I don't think so anyway. Just using the tools of the world. Yeah, yeah, Captain. Hey there. Always makes my heart skip a beat. <laughs> Me too. Uh, Violet says, I'm with you, Claire. Sneak attack followed by the boot knife to the neck. Well, the back is extremely satisfying. Hell fucking yeah. I love it. How much how much music is in this game how good it is i mean i didn't really forget how good it is i know it's good but like you know what i'm saying you just when you when you're not playing it you forget like all those little moments where the music really makes a difference in how you feel about what's happening 
the little music cues, the little like little hints and stuff that you get. What? What? Yeah, play with the headphones. Saber, you listen to the Ripper soundtrack daily? Nice. Nice, that's awesome. Something's here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In those bushes. It's in these bushes and it's so gonna stab you in a minute. Coming up. Come into a movie theater near you. Stab. Stab. Oh. Stab, stab. Oh. Alright, so we have three left. That means there's the dude leaning against the wall there, and there's the two people in this hut. I think. Yeah. This one always makes me nervous for some reason. I think I've like missed this before. it when it triggers that guy. Just stay where you are, mate. See, like, right now, this would be really helpful. See, he... Oh, so he's hiding. If you do it right, he doesn't get alerted and you can just walk in and stab him in the back. Um, I guess I did not do it right. I see him, he's still there. Still hiding. Stab, stab, ugh, the sequel. Can you kill him, please? Can we kill him? God, he, I didn't think he was going to kill him. He saw me, like, spamming the button. <laughs> Ooh, medkit inventory full. Finally. Ah, uh, there's one more guy left. But we'll, we'll come back to him. I think there's some ammo... This tent, I don't think I picked it up. Go get that. Yeah, there we go. It always amazes me that the rag never falls out of Deke's back left pocket. Yeah, I heard that that was added to give like movement. I think I read it maybe in the art book, which those of you who haven't read the art book, holy cow, you gotta read the art book. It's amazing. Um, there's so many, it's like 200 pages of awesome, awesome information about the game and the story and the characters and the creation of the game. That's the last of them. Jesus, God, how many men have you pissed off? It's really cool. I usually have a link to it in the description, but I don't think I do today. Um, just because new setup and everything. Uh, but yeah, if you check, I think on the about page, it's an affiliate link just to let you know it is an affiliate link. Um, it will give me like a couple of cents. So it's another way to support the channel. If you're going to buy the art book anyway, click a link either on mine or on Spornicus Rex's pages. Um, and you can get the, uh, Get the art book and like help us out with like like i said i think it just gives us like four cents or something but hey right. i'm not gonna turn down free money be the generator but it's been shot to hell i gotta show you guys i gotta, i'm just gonna well, i'll leave it there um
So between me and Rex, we have four copies of the art book and one of the mini art book as well. Uh, but this is this is my copy. This is my first ever copy. It has I have post-it notes. I don't know if you can see those with like different things. So like I have information on the bike I can go to straight away. Uh, the Freakers, I am Mike, Schizo, Ricky, Addy, um, Carlos. Who else do I have tagged? Boozer. So these are things I've used for the podcast. So much. It's so fucking good. And it has these awesome, I really love this. Whoops, this design. Aw. I just found a note inside. This design of the bike. Like some of the artwork is really cool. Um, it has info about like all the different areas. It has some cool concept art. If you guys can see that, it is fucking incredible. It is incredible. And for some reason, I have a note to Rex in here. Three notes. Aww. I leave little post-it notes for him all the time. And uh, somehow those have ended up inside my copy of the art book. Don't know why. But yeah, he's always finding notes. He had a note in his jacket pocket for a year because he didn't wear the jacket for ages. Drop it! <gasps> if I had, if you had bullets now, I wouldn't be breathing. Yeah, would I? Sorry, I talked over it. I'd love that line. Please, Mister. I don't shoot women if I have a choice. Do I have a choice? I ain't got his nothing. Voice in this. I got nowhere to go. Ooh, Deacon was ready to shoot her. All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. Bet they do. Um, yeah. Uh, Dandy Dandy says if it's the mechanic who hates having dirty hands aesthetic. Oh, the, the, the bandana thing must be sewn into his pocket. Um, yeah, it is weird how he's, like, anti-grubby. Like, he doesn't like being grubby. He must have worn a ton of the nitrile gloves while working. Yeah, probably. Deacon is the owner and told his mechanics to all the dirty work. No, we know that he's not. We know he's he worked at a mechanic shop. Because wasn't it, wasn't it, um... Oh, God, Jim? Jim is the lead? No. Um, the leader of the MC, the head of the MC, Jack, Jack, God, uh, wasn't it his bike shop or auto shop that he, that he worked at? I always wonder why they gave her a name, the, the lady there, yeah. What do they got here? A map, yes. Tracy just became a member! Holy shit! Thank you, Tracy! How do we pronounce your, your name? Tracy Hotling? Hope I said that right. Hello! Welcome! Welcome to the community! Thank you! I appreciate that. Um, Saber says, I remember sometimes in scavengers camps, if the last survivor is a woman, she tries to seduce Deacon. Oh, yeah. Sometimes even even if she's not the last one. Got some papers, not some crafting. Um... Yeah. Newly discovered and craftable recipes are shown in the survival wheel. Awesome. Dick, you there? Hold up. Farewell is on the map. And we zoom in. It just says Oregon. It's the only word I can make out. Oregon. Um, fuck, how do I? There we go. Farewell, and then what is the triangle and shit? I love the I love the maps. It's probably nothing. Sounded like bike engines riding somewhere on. The oh, Violet says he told Corey that he owned a bike shop, but it was Jack's. Was the radio tower for Copeland. So did you own it, or was it Jack's, Deacon? Make up your mind. Oh, at one point he says he worked at Jack's shop, but later tells two people that Deke owns a bike shop. Huh. Hotel with ing, hoteling, Ho hoteling, hoteling. Oh God, now I'm overthinking it. Tracy, <laughs> look at Tracy. 
Um, it captures our past on the seducing part. If it is, if it's anything, how Crystal seduces people down in Wizard Island. Oh God. Hmm. Spornicus Rex is cool news. I've just been given a little more responsibility in the grow rooms. Oh, sweet. He's loving that job. I'm a fool and yep. Actually feeding baby plants right now. I'm imagining Spornicus Rex cradling a little marijuana plant wrapped in swaddling and like feeding it with like a little water bottle or something. That would be hilarious. All right, where am I going? How do we get out? Did we, did I have that loot that was in here? I did not. We're here taking care of the babies. Oh, JW, you went to Culver's for lunch. Oh, fuck yeah, grilled chicken sandwich and fries. Oh, fuck yeah. Fucking Culver's. Oh my god. Fucking love Culver's. Because <laughs> Joe Schmo is here, so he's going to berate you for not having cheese curds. <laughs> yeah, Caps has no cheese curds. Joe is going to be upset. Hey, Deke, you okay? You don't sound like, like yourself. It's, uh, it's nothing. You know, I just let this drifter get the drop on me. Lucky for me, she was uh, out of ammo. You let her go, didn't you? Okay, yeah, fuck. Yes, yes, I let her go. One of these days, I think he told Corey that because he was undercover trying to find Sarah. I guess he didn't think the big neck tattoo of her yeah, name well, would give it away. Do it, right? I mean, it Sarah's what? a pretty common yeah. name. Jesus, Tattoos are kind of hard to read. Deacon's kind of grubby. Let's see what it doesn't bother me. About. Like, some people really, that really, like, gets to them. Like, why didn't he see that he has Sarah written on her neck? We're right. And I think Someone's he, on the mountain. I, I think he does, you know. Where. Corey's observant, but how many people have tattoos? No. Of like names or whatever. Healed up so we can and it's like, oh yeah, that was an ex or his mom or something or his kid. It could have been his kid. It's just, I'm going a little stir crazy here, Dick. The Culver's by Wrigley Field. Oh, Jay Stabby, you were living the life. In case they head your way, Dick and out. Holy shit. They put a Bucky's in Colorado. I am extremely excited about this. Oh, it's like two and a half hours drive away. It's on the opposite side of the state for me. Um, but I am I'm quite excited about the Bucky's. They just they need one oh, shit, down here. Now, what I do not understand, and if anyone can explain this to me, there's no Aldi in the entire state of Colorado. Not a single Aldi. Like Colorado is and, and Aldi is that makes sense. Like culturally, that makes sense to me. That that it would be here. It seems like a very Aldi type place. Like they have them in fucking Texas. But they don't have them here. I'm mad about this. I love Aldi. Um, okay, so we have a skill point. Um escape artist is actually very, very, very important. In fact, let me look at my let me refer to my notebook. See, I always get, I've written down that I should always get focus shot, field repairs, and escape artists. But honestly, field repairs, I wrote this before I became dependent on the machete. You don't ever need it. Um, if you use machetes and fire axes, you know. Um, then get melee up to executioner. Then survival up to carry that weight. Then ranged all the way or we could also get ranged up to on the move but at this point you won't have carry that weight for a while that's what i've written down um so let's skip field repairs and get escape artists that one is to me very important the ability to stab wolves in the neck uh yeah now can we get a fucking aldi all hail lord buggies yeah indeed Oh, 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 now we can pick up what hang on, what did we get a crafting recipe for? It was the fucking the the stupid um what is it called? The spiky bat. Right? Spike bat.
Now, the one I want is Smoke Bomb. Smoke Bomb and Proximity Bomb and Attractor Bomb. Those are the only three that I really care about from Ambush Camp. Um, so when do we just get Attractors? Is that a... That must be a... Just a story reward. See, these are the things that I don't normally pay attention to. That I'm trying to just be a little more cognizant of. Just trying to be more aware of the mechanics of the game. Oh, mushrooms. Oh, yeah. I love the subtle things they did in the, like that. Yeah. When Ricky's trying to get some big Deke energy um, and Ricky says, I'm not married. They zoom in on Deke's neck tattoo. Mm -hmm. I really like it how when you get on the bike to ride south. Um, no, no, no. I'm sorry. When you get on the bike to take Boozler to Lost Lake, the song starts playing and the timing of the line, I'll be coming home soon is when Tielsen, Mount Tielsen is like in view. And obviously it depends on how you drive. Um, it may not line up perfectly, but to me it always does. I just, I always thought that was kind of intentional. Um, there's very few Aldi in the Western states. I, they're in California. I like when Wolf you said that they were, uh, when you all were first moving to Colorado. I restored your radio uplink. No, fuck did I leave my bike? You may not see the value in St. John, but Radio Free Oregon is the only thing keeping us from turning into savages. The only thing. Oh, thank you, Copeland. The only thing. Into savages about nine square. All decent franchise. I mean, that's very good thing. Hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a Melissa, you got to take off, do paperwork. All right. Lexi Bryce! You make me jealous when I'm at restaurants that aren't where I live. How many fast food chains in town of 8,000? That's a decent amount of people. You think you would have more options? Um, just says, from my understanding, it's a core reason for the low prices. Yeah. I like what they've got, so no need to change. Yes, please, Aldi, please do not. Do not change. Scott says, I have a bunch of Aldi here in Akron. Can you send one, just like pick one up and bring it to Colorado? I don't understand why the company hasn't opened up Aldi here. Like, why? Why? I want answers. I want answers to this. Okay, um, what should we do? We can finish the fogging camp. Do smoke on the mountain. Um, can't get that narrow injector yet, but we could go get this one. And we could also, in fact, it's 1 a.m. So yeah, let's go get the death train. Um, injector. An MMU, and then we'll come and do the ambush camp that's over here. And maybe even the Jefferson. We'll do Jefferson as well. I like that one. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth oh, shit. shall set you free. There's the skin rooms in this great country. People live on the streets in boxes. Cap, you've never heard of Aldi or Bu Bucky's. American dream. Tell those good people fall for this very country. You have the feds forget about them as soon as they went dumb. stand for post-traumatic stress disorder. It stands for put them soldiers down. Well, we're all homeless now. Living in the wilderness in the way of our forebears. The feds used to think we needed their welfare and handouts to survive. We showed them how wrong they were. What we need now is a strong will, determination, and trust in each other. Oh, shit. Oh shit, that's a lot of freaks. Oh shit. Oh shit, that's a lot of freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. That's great! Yeah, Radio Free Oregon is on the air once again. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> you know, I'm starting to understand why people say they don't come out at night. If you don't clear the nest, there's actually a lot of fucking freaks. Yeah. 
Fuck off. Leave me be. I love how he's lost me. He's like, what, what, what? Mm, it's like a day's drive away. Oh, shit. Scott, you went to Aldi this past weekend looking for brekkie for your wife? Oh, Travis, you gotta go. Alrighty, thank you for being here. All right, horns over there, which means we can get in and... How many speakers do we have? Let's not just stand here, Deacon. Keep going. Is it three at this one? Or it's like Death Train. Three. I've written two and then three, I think. Crossed it out. Um, that's one. I always think it's more. I always assume these early ones are like way more. Andy Denny, you're going to Aldi in a couple of hours. Oh, jealous. <laughs> to the roof. Aldi has expanded drastically in the last several years, so maybe more, maybe in Colorado. Stop bumping up. Jay Sabby says there should be three here. Yeah, I think two are on the roof. And one is that one we just, uh, we just got. Maybe just one on the roof? Oh, the other one's maybe over there. Shit. on the roof I see it now how the hell do I get in there oh, straight past it it's funny that Aldi has food items you won't find at other grocery stores mm -hmm. and Aldi is actually it's been like tested to have like the best produce it's also one of the most affordable places um are we not putting fuel in this Oh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, Al this is not an ad for Aldi at all. I'm just a fan. I just love Aldi. Good. Yeah, now we're in business. There really better be something in here with all this trouble. Yes, Nero injector. Yep, they're going to the lake and back. I know, I know. Um, let's do more focus, and then we'll do stamina, I think. Yeah. Focus. Get a focus. Another Nero micro no. Sir, we got a problem. Not sure I want we got a lot of problems, soldier. Which one are you talking about? We got another train coming in hot. Get those people to move back. Move back. Radio command, we got no Get more room. I told them we need on, another move. dozen backhoes out here. Gotta shut this site Sir, down. Sir, you don't understand. The hell I don't. Those assholes in Portland just don't listen. I tell them we got no more room out here. We got traffic back up all the way to Fairwell. The cop from here to Chabalt is full of people. Leave that goddamn eye. No one's answering. What the hell are you talking about? No one's goddamn answering. Hey, I'm up there. Open it, Deacon. Open it. I guess the trains won't be running anytime soon, yeah. Okay, they're coming. I gotta go. I gotta go fast. I wanna get to my bike. Run, Deacon, run! Yeah. 
It ends like that and it's like, oh thank god I got away. Basic groceries could be like $200 at Walmart or whatever and it's like $80 at Aldi. Yes, yes, that's the other reason why we need an Aldi. Can't afford to spend all this money on groceries. Pick it up, Deacon, come on! Fuck, Mr. How dare you, how? Fucking dare you, you will get in the sharp end of my machete now. Come here. Again? Oh, stop putting your head down. Oh, someone just got eaten by Nightbot. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, what did I. What's Nightbot doing? Oh, Nightbot, no! That's funny. <laughs> you eat yourself. Um, ooh, so the chat that I... The, the window that I'm monitoring the chat on, it does not show me... does not show me the... Uh, Nightbot messages. So hang on, hang on. I can switch. Um... Show me, show me, show me. Who got... What's Nightbot doing? Well, I apologise. Nightbot is sometimes a little bit extra. Um, I don't see it. I think because I just reloaded the chat. Um, apologies if you just got yeeted by Nightbot. Hopefully you just got, like, muted for, like, 10 seconds or something. It's, like, the lowest setting. Um, Nightbot is helpful a lot of the time and um, overzealous a lot of the time. It's kind of 50-50. Has Nightbot done a good job? Or is Nightbot being extra? Ooh, let's go do this. And then we'll do the logging camp. Booze man, you awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp we spotted north of the mountain. Uh, I heard gunshots. Uh, might be an ambush camp. Find out when I get there. Dig it out! Come on, freaks. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, there's a lot of them, holy shit. behind me it's like a little mini horde that's just pretty cool just like that and see ya oh not just installed that was kind of a plan taken out Two down. Three. Four. Five. This is so cool. Oh, we're not close enough. Six. Seven. Eight. Ah, that's the last of them. And that's the mission done. 
Oh fucking yeah. Oh fucking yeah. Mission complete. And let's go save it. And then we can go loot this camp. Boozer. Just increased. Yeah. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. And of course, watching out for bear traps. But, uh, noisy traps like this one. Put it down deep. Why would Deacon ever bother fighting anyone? I know, right? I love how when you, when you get into this camp, there's no traps inside the camp. Which, obviously, of course, why would you put bear traps down inside your own camp? Hayate says, I found, at least during my time in the game, the bike quick saves were very inconsistent. Sometimes it would tell you it's saved, but would not actually save. Yeah, that's why I always do... I have two save games that I alternate, like hard saves that I alternate between. And then with the quick saves, I found that they're pretty consistent. Um, if you know, like, when it's safe, air quotes, to save, because if you do it during a mission... It won't, it won't save it. It doesn't save during a mission. And sometimes you may not really know that you're during a mission. So it can be a little, um, it can be a little inconsistent in that way. Um, but yeah, it does, it definitely does tell you that it's saved and then maybe it just didn't really. So I just save it really often and anytime I know I'm putting the game down or I know I haven't played, I haven't, um, saved it in a few minutes. I'll do, a, like, a proper save. Oh, 50% of the time? It tells you it's saving the low right when it doesn't actually write an autosave slot. It also, it may be that the game is also autosaving pretty regularly on its own um, with, like, certain checkpoints and things like that, and that will overwrite. There's only a certain number of slots for autosaves. But yeah, it should be more than 50% of the time. It should be like 90% of the time. Minimum. When you save that it's actually saved. But yeah, I don't know about PC. It might be a PC thing. That is still very bizarre. Okay, we've got some good loot off these people. I'm just compelled to like ruin all their traps and pick up all their bear traps and stuff just in case i know that they despawn after this mission but, like just in case i'm running back to my bike i run through one it's my coffee nomad says it auto saves too many times um, Ian says Deke says that he worked at Jack's shop as a wrench monkey. Boozer, it's done. It's On PC there are five slots and very often you'll see the save icon and much. when you go to load game no file will have been written over. Huh. It's weird. I think on PlayStation there are ten. So it's surprising that there's only five. On PC, that is really weird. 
Rest up, booze man. Rest up. We'll ride north as soon as your arm heals. You got that? Yeah, yeah, I hear Get off the bike. Get off the bike and press the wrong button. So this is how I like to do this logging camp. Just get one and then just be like, bye, and leave. Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find me on stash. Sorry, what was that? Rest up, Missouri. We're heading north as soon as you can ride. Um. North. You alright? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, five auto, auto save slots. And then, well, maybe it's, I don't know, let's have a look. Um, so if we go to load, we have autosave, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. So 15 autosaves on PlayStation. And then one, two, three, four, five, five um, hard save slots, which you may have more. Because I can add new save data, I can make, I can just make a fresh. I don't think I've played it through many times on this PlayStation, so I think it's ten, ten hard saves, and I guess fifteen auto saves that it's just constantly overwriting. Deke. Oh God damn it! You see, got trapped, which is really weird. You'd think it would be on PC, like infinite or something, or at least not infinite, but. Shot the place up, then he just took off. I don't know. Nanny said his back's got a red tank. Oh god, yeah, I wish you could rename them. I I always want I to now, have to catch up to saves that are like at this point in the game, at that point in the game, so I can jump through it. You know, Boris Lab told me that he has he has saves that he's he's made saves for like pretty much all the way through the game and he's like taking them off playstation onto like usb sticks so he has usb sticks with like millions of saves on them so he can jump into anywhere in the game um i would love to do that and i just i never have deke you there D did you say you were heading north who's man now you know, I wouldn't ride north without you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Oh, third degree burns will do that to you. Yeah. So, take care of Alvarez, you know. Deke, it means a lot to me. I'll take care of her, Boozer. Just get some rest. Deacon out. Yes, Nero injector. Yep. And the remote bombs don't work properly on PC. Rex is like super pissed about that. He refuses to play it on PC because of that. Um, I did a test on my last playthrough. I played on play, uh, sorry, on PC for the first time, my only time ever playing on PC, playing this game on PC. And um, I found they worked some of the time. I think it's dependent on either the enemy type or the number of enemies that are in, in, you know, um, around it, in proximity to it. No, they never patched it. They never patched that. Dandy Danny. Um, there was a hell of a lot more. It fucked an amazing strategy you had early on for section, and I had to modify it because that bug. Dude, say what is what was the strategy or what were you? Um, what bit was it for? Because I can do it on PlayStation. Can confirm they are completely bu bugged on PC. Freakers are the issue. They activate the bug. Humans. That was it. That was it. Yes. Yes. Because I left one and like a lord and a human enemy over and it didn't go off. As it's supposed to do as a remote bomb, you're supposed to, you know, press a button to detonate it. And then with freaks, I noticed it went off with hordes and 
groups of freaks but i think if it's like just one freak it didn't do it i think but i i didn't test it a lot um oh the first soldier fight with, with corey yeah Nothing. Somebody see me? Nobody saw me. Oh, I love this ambush camp. that person not the other person who's closer someone's here yep. <laughs> oh, the, some of the kills are just so brutal Go check it out. You should totally go over there in those bushes. That smell like a stabbed friend. Just looking around. Now the one there in the red bandana center screen. That one always gets me. I always forget that one's there. Hmm. <clears throat> And I hate getting this guy up here. Is there someone out there? No, 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 no. Tisha. <laughs> Through the top of the head. I'm always with that one I'm always like, ow! Like how can you how can you stab someone on the top of the head and be like okay mentally? See me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Thank you for not seeing me. Now, we need to hear this rock. What the hell? Is that a rock? Someone's around rocks? What the hell? Yeah. I know something's out here. You know right. I feel like killing drifters, is that Oh, his hand is all bloody. Oh, we can't resist. It's been weird, but his hand is all, like, covered in blood. Right. Who is next? game i always resort to the like the knife or something like actual stealth kills because the headshots aren't always that great or if i'm doing a headshot i'll make sure they're like really fucking close something's out here what'd you find like that Let's have a look. We've still got so many of them left alive. We haven't even killed half of them yet.
Sorry, crossbow. <laughs> oh, one of my biggest complaints to the game is what we call no no regs, no no reg, which means the game does not register the shot on the target. What does what does that mean? Like, what should it do and what does it... Like, in what situation, I guess. I understand the words. I thought I saw someone out there. Someone out there? No, you didn't see shit. No, no, no. You didn't see anything. I always, whenever they say something like that, I'm like, No, hide, hide. Mom, fuck off. Wake up. Hey, hold on. So I, I feel like there's two people here, but I'm only seeing one. So we have this gal here. You can see my head over there. I <laughs> love it. Um, so we have her and then Deacon. Oh, okay. So just the two, like, within grabbing distance of the camera. Um, it means my crosshair is perfectly under the head. I pull the trigger. The shot goes off. The bullet goes right through the enemy and does not impact them or do any damage. Ah! I think this is... I don't know about game. I think what is happening is the early game weapons. Now, I don't know about late game, but I think the early game weapons are supposed to be really bad that you could fire a shot and it like deacon is a perfect aim he's you know ex-military he's fucking survived two years in the zombie apocalypse he is a good shot but he has such shitty weapons that you can't always get a headshot like it should be a headshot but it's not that's kind of my i don't know if that's headcanon i don't know if that's intended um but if you if you do the especially if you uh, like, early game, I think it, it's more prevalent. Late game, it doesn't seem to do that. I don't know. I don't know. I, that's that's what I think it is. Um, because quite often I'll do... Yeah, I'll be standing right in front of me. You saw me do it earlier. Headshot, headshot, headshot. And it doesn't kill them. Or it will miss them. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure that was that was on target. Mm. Well, like when you get a headshot and the game says body shot. Oh, all of my experience on New Game Plus with all the skills and the end game weapons, so it's definitely not the reason. Okay. Did it just happen early game or does it happen all the way through? Hey, I say. And headshots aren't always one hit kill early game for sure. Yeah. And I don't know, it may be oh shit, no, bad, bad. bad timing. Maybe it's um if it is supposed to be like that to make the early game more difficult. It could be that they just, it's not about skills or the guns it's set. So that the early game, you don't get headshots as often. Like it just takes them away from you or, or doesn't reward you with them or award them or whatever as often. I don't know. I could just be talking bullshit. Range matters, says Spornicus Rex. Yeah. Although, I don't know. There was some with that freaker in my face earlier that I should have killed and didn't. What? <laughs> Not gonna loot, not gonna loot. Resist the urge, resist the urge. Got five of them left. Ha! <laughs> 
four of them left. This guy's sometimes hard to get a headshot on. Nope, not today though. Three of them left. And I want is standing up against this thing here. This guy's walking around and then, yep, up top, there's the other guy. Awesome. Now the guy's leaning against stuff, you cannot sneak up and stealth kill them. It doesn't allow it. Don't see me, 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 don't see me. This guy got up this morning and thought he looked so cool with his matching red hat, red bandana. I wish he could do like kills from above, like jump down on them and stab them. Um, the guns being bad early game is good. Yeah, I agree. I like it. But then I'm not very good with guns anyway. I can see how if you are confident with with, you know, guns and shooting and aiming and stuff like that in video games, you would be kind of annoyed by it. And I think we see that a lot in the subreddit. Um, people are like, well, I don't get this game. Like, why is it so difficult? Like, well, it's kind of supposed to be. Um, randomly through the entire game, range doesn't matter, nor progress in the story. Many recorded examples of it will be available to you soon. Interesting. What's that? Bullet to the face, well, that is. And now we don't need to waste the suppressor because we only have one left. I know exactly where he is. Um, it makes the progression so much more worthwhile. Yeah, so much, so much worth it. Oh shit, he's moved. Men coming. Fuck. I'm shot. See there, I think I got his like his arm was kind of in the way. He was supposed to be standing right there. He's the one that stands there. Pick on the wrong guy. Damn it. Okay. We still did good. I wonder if they had a bunker. Um, mm, I personally never had it that bad, but now you brought it up. I just assume that if I don't make a headshot, well, that's that's me not making the headshot. And that's what I'm saying. It's like you're confident that you should have made a headshot. If you were a good enough gamer, that you're like, yes, this was definitely, this should have been a kill, that should have been a kill. And it's not. I can see how that would be really frustrating. But for me, I just assume I'm not not making. I'm. I personally didn't make that shot. Uh, in the beginning, you have shitty guns like the 9mm pistol. If you play Fallout New Vegas, you know the meme. Oh, I've played that, but I don't know the meme. What's the meme about 9mm pistols? think they're gonna come rolling into my wilderness? They got another thing coming. The strongest survive. The strongest take. And the strongest will succeed. This is Mark Copeland for Radio And that is why I don't like Cope. Don't the strongest lies. will survive. He has very much got this. Order fuck you. I'm gonna. If you let me take it, well, you don't deserve to have it kind of attitude. With his own people as well. He will throw his own people under the bus. In the name of freedom, the freedom to take, the freedom to steal, freedom to not give a fuck about anyone. I mean, that is a certain kind of freedom. But that's why I don't like Mark Copeland. In the intro, the protagonist gets shot in the head with an oh, nine more pistol survives. Oh yes, of course. Close range as well, by someone who's not going to miss. Hello, a map. But that spawned a meme about nine mils being shitty caliber. Um, no matters. I always leave one slot open for pipe bombs and molotovs that I might loot from dead marauders. Yeah. Stamina cocktail. That is a good strategy. I do that with bandages sometimes. I just, I can't, I can't stand seeing two of three. Also, because sometimes I'll, um, like more often than not, I'm finding rags and bottles and kerosene. So I, 
I'd hate to not be able to pick up some materials. Ah, let's see. So we have um, focus shot and escape artist, and then let's let's focus on melee. I think. Or survival. Hmm. Well, if we get survival, it's going to force me to get these shitty fucking plant things that I hate. Because I'm not going to get eagle-eyed. I, I hate I hate that one. No, sorry, not eagle-eyed. Um. Oh, I'm thinking of the other one. It's the ground. But you always have to get... Oh, we do need thief in the night, actually. Um... Um, bah, 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 I'm thinking. Yeah, we're not really going to use the crossbow. So let's get Hawkeye and Eye for Detail. And then we'll get Thief in the Night. And Eagle Eyed. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much the top two. On these three tiers, and then carry that weight. Yeah, we pretty much get all of the others. Um, all right, so let's get. Which one do we want to get? Um, fucking. I don't have to get Hawkeye. Not really going to be using the plants a lot. I do find it clutters up the mini map. Uh, if we focus on survival. No, if we focus on melee first, we can get to Executioner before, well before the plain antibiotics mission. I kind of want to get carried that weight. I think we'll, we'll focus on getting carried that weight first. Uh, Nomad said, nothing wrong with 9mm. Navy SEALs, Army Rangers, Marine Raiders, and other US spec ops prefer 9mm over other pistol calibers. And Jay Savvy says, well, that's because they are much better shots than me. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you guys. So, um, crazy thing happened recently. Uh, I, that resulted in me walking around the house with a shotgun in my hands. And those of you who know, I am not, I am not a gun person. I'm, my hands are sweating just thinking about it. I'm, I'm not, I'm not really comfortable. Growing up in Europe, obviously we don't have guns. I, you just hear more horror stories about them than, than anything else. And, and the US has this, just such an extra kind of way of dealing with guns. Like I get it, if you're chill about guns, whatever, cool. That there's just so many people who are like, fuck your gun, sir, fucking shoot my gun, 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 gun. Oh, you're not a real man unless you got a gun, blah, blah. And it's, I just am overwhelmed with all that. And it's like, okay, yeah, no, mm -mm, no, thank you. Um, so I'm kind of like, with guns. But we had someone try to break into the house. After my stream on, this would have been Tuesday, I think, because my kiddo wasn't home. And we had someone who was like knocking on the door and uh, I, I was like, I just got done with the stream. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to answer the door right now. I'm busy. Um, I don't know you. I looked out the window. I was like, I don't know who you are. You look like a salesman. I'm not fucking answering the door. Oh, look, we can make stamina cocktails. Um, and, uh, and they kept knocking, kept knocking, kept knocking. At this point, I'm like, something's up. And they start looking through the window. So I took a photo of them. They didn't know I was there. Um, and I keep, I'm keep i keeping tabs on them because it's like, I know you can't see me, but I know exactly where you are. And they went around the side of the house. No, Deacon. Um, they went around the side of the house. One side has a gate, one side doesn't. And they went around the side without, without a gate. Um, so I was like, okay, you're trying to figure out how to get around back. And... You failed, so hopefully you'll fuck off now. And then they came back to the front door, they knocked again and rang the doorbell, looked through the window, and then they went around the other side and I heard the side gate open. I had left it unlocked stupidly. It's normally always locked. I'd left it unlocked for, for 
I'd been doing some work out there and I'd, I'd accidentally forgotten to lock it again. Now we have this this latch on the the gate where it has, you know, like the little post that's on the gate and it clips in and you have to press the, the little latch to open it. Well, from the outside, it's pretty easy to figure out how to do it. But from the inside, it's really hard to figure out. You have to do it it's like a certain way, but it doesn't appear to have a handle or some sort of release. So the guy walks through the back gate. I hear the gate. I rip back the curtain, hammer on the fucking window and like yell like I'm a fucking rabid pit bull. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm calling the cops, blah, 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 blah. It's like yelling at this guy. He freaks the fuck out because my the window is right next to the gate. So he was right there. And I, I scared the fucking shit out of him. And he turns to go back through the gate and like can't open it. So he's like not, he doesn't know how to get out. I think he climbed over the gate and like ran away. And meanwhile, I'm like opening the gun safe on the phone to the police. Like someone's trying to break into my house. I've got the shotgun out. And it's like I'm walking around the house with a fucking shotgun. And then I call Rex, the cops are on their way and I call Rex. And he's like, I tell him like, I'm, I've got your shotgun. And he's like, do you know how to use it? And I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. In an emergency, yes, I absolutely know how to use this. They kept a name very specific so weird uh very specific condition that that rex has like talked me through um so it's like yeah i grab i I had three choices there are three or four i think um and that one is like i know i know what i'm doing and uh of course the guy's long gone it was no big deal he was he was obviously just looking to see if anyone was home and he thought no one was home so he was gonna you know hop the the back door and come in and steal, probably steal the PlayStations, something like that. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and make a run for it. We don't really have anything worth stealing, to be honest. Um, I guess the PlayStations. What are you going to get for that 50 bucks at the pawn shop or something? Which I guess, I guess that's something if you're looking to steal for like drug money or whatever the fuck. But like, I don't have valuables. I don't have anything that's gonna get you a fuck ton of money um but yeah that was that was kind of crazy and i looked up afterwards uh i was looking up you know what is what is colorado law for like if someone breaks into your house and i'm standing there with a shotgun and i shoot the guy like what if he'd come in and i shot him what's what's the law and then i was like figuring out well i didn't say i would aim at his face i'd probably aim for his feet because then you can't run away Oh, did you see them both dodge at the same time? Oh, shit. You can't run away, but I don't get in trouble for killing you if I take your feet off. Oh, oh, first death. First death. I was just fucking around, shooting some wolves. Just wanted to finish my story. I was shooting some freaks and we got jumped by a wolf. Holy cow. Holy fucking shit. Well, that was dumb. Hey, hello! Yeah, see, central chest, like, no, I'm I'm gonna, I am gonna aim for your knees. Or your balls, honestly. Um, and with a shotgun, obviously it's gonna get, like, a wide area, but, like, if I, if I'm, I would rather you go to prison or whatever or get in trouble or trying to break into my house and I can keep yelling at you some more because really I just want to yell at you, like, how fucking dare you? How, how dare you be so stupid as to try to break into my house? I will, I will fuck you up, um, but I won't kill you because, well, then I might get in trouble and I'm not ruining my life because you're an asshole. Um, <laughs> the wolves would like to steal your PS5. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, guys, this is this is the end of my story and this is uh, the end of the stream for today. Let's hit the wrap up button here. Um, I do want to say thank you, everyone for hanging out thank you for being here thank you for thank you to those of you who became members today um and let me give a shout out to everyone who is a member because you guys are appreciated uh, and we need to add who joined today tracy yep adding you to the list and it was violent jones right who joined 
There's the people who joined today. Sorry, I'm like leaning around the microphone trying to type. Um, so big thank you to my amazing members, Adam Green, Andy Matthews, Anton G, Barafi, Basics of Pain, Bex Gaming, Boo Boo Scouter, Captain Caffeine, Catherine the Great, Dandy Denny, Darren West, Dr. G, Hack Parachute, Headhunter Telesto, Heidi H, Ian L, Idris Mehmed, James Guan, Jess Castaneda, Joe Schmo, Jay Stabby, Jules1984, KCC, Lady Bosslin, Lexi Price, Llama Rob, Mad Arab, Marcus Horton, Mark Morgan, Melissa S, Miranda Satin, Nomad416, Obscure by Inc, Old Lady Deep Geek, Rose Chestnut, Ryan Alsop, Scotty Oates, Spornicus Rex, Stickman, Super Davram, Sweet Ellis Cookies, The Who Fan, Travis Stamper, Unleash the Goof, Warhorse 500, WD Henderson, Webster Ross, Zylot DMB, Tracy, and Violent Jones. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much um, for supporting the channel, supporting what we do here. It is very much appreciated. And thank you, everyone, for just hanging out and being here and being awesome. And thank you for the one-time contribution as well. It was uh, Idris. Idris, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, to do last catch up with the chats. Uh, yeah, home invasion, self defense applies. I, it still applies in California. It's like every state has different rules. Um, and I would hate for I would hate for anyone to defend themselves and then end up in prison. Um, it happens. It happens. That's why you should always, I think, err on the side of not killing people. Um, you know. Maiming and dismemberment is really the way to go. Uh, sorry. That was a joke. Please, please don't. Dear FBI agent, uh, please don't arrest me. I don't intend to maim or dismember anyone, except in video games. Um, but yeah, take care of yourselves, seriously. Um, maybe this is a reminder to just take a look at your home security, figure out where your weak spots might be, if you're out all day, you know, do you um, need to improve your alarm system? Do you need to maybe secure your back door or remember to lock your side gate? Uh, so, yeah, just take a look and, um, yeah, do whatever you need to do to stay safe, to stay safe and to be safe. Congrats again to Travis Stamper for being first in the chat. We will be back tomorrow, tomorrow morning, usual time, 8 a.m. Mountain, both on Twitch and on YouTube. Please do come hang out. Uh, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can get the notification that I'm going live. Except for WhoFan, it's not going to tell you anyway. So, <laughs> you're always complaining about YouTube not notifying you. Um, mm, nylon Girl says pulling the trigger is the last resort. If I'm pulling the trigger, they ain't getting up. Nobody go to Nylon Girl's house and expect to break in. Uh, Noma says, true story. A cop once told me that if I, had, if I have to end a trespasser, Drag him inside the house before calling 911. Oh shit, hey, gunfire. Um, oh, it's the, the marauders at the logging camp that spawn in and just start fighting with the freaks. Awesome. Uh, Violent says, glad I caught your live stream today. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, don't forget tonight, Spawnicus Rex channel. Tonight, tonight. Um, over on Rex's channel, he is streaming Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma 2. Come hang out, 7 p.m. Mountain. So seven hours from now. I will see you all there, and we'll be back here tomorrow morning for more Days Gone. Yay! Have a good one, everyone. Bye, and stay safe out there. <laughs>